Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We're finally at the grand finals. It's what you guys have been waiting for this entire tournament. It's been a long road to get here, and we have the two arguably best teams in South Africa. And what makes that argument a little bit stronger is that they're here. They have beaten out so many teams in this tournament to get here. It is Randberg Fire Department versus Beastie Boys. I'm Ultras and bringing you this action with my favorite co cast, the Sun Phoenix. How excited are you for this? I'm excited, Ultras. I'm always excited to cast some uh, top tier Overwatch with you. And I think you are you are right that this is some of the toppest tier Overwatch that exists in South Africa today. I think you can make an argument for OG being one of the top two teams, given their, their recent result against Randberg. But outside of that, uh, arguments should not be forthcoming. As you say, they've pushed their way through quite a tough bracket. Randberg with a 3-2 win over OG in their semi-final, with uh, Beastie Boys a 3-1 win over Enigma in the match we cast last week. So it's been a, 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 I wouldn't say a tough road, but a tougher than we often see with the top teams coming into grand finals. So fingers crossed this should be a, a good one today. Well, that's what I like to see is, you know, as you, you when you're starting out the bracket stages or group stage or something like that, you tend to see one or two teams doing very, very well, dominating most of their performances, coming out with a 5-0 um, in most of the, in their, their streak to come in here. But when you start seeing maps going either way for a team, you start realizing, okay, now we're starting to get some challenge into this. And so with both of these not able to secure a clean sweep coming into this finals, it means that there are chinks in the armor. There are mm -hmm. opportunities for teams to beat them. And that's what both of these teams are going to be looking for. Obviously, Randberg Fire Department going to be the favorite one. I mean, they effectively have not lost a game in living memory if you're roughly two years old. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, you know, there, there is an opportunity here for Beastie Boys certainly showing some creativity on their own side and an opportunity for them to come through and take off this top spot. What better time to do it than the Grand Finals? Well, yeah, I mean, that that really is what decides the top spot, isn't it, altruism? You know, you say you say ATK, or oh, ATK, so Randberg haven't lost a game in two years. And that's like, it's not a joke, eh? Hey? Because if we compare this team to ATK, now, this team isn't ATK. They have three different members. But the kind of core of this team, I think losing Bandit um, lose, removes the identity slight, slightly. But still, it's a lot of ATK blood in this roster. ATK lost their last match not tournament or anything in their last match uh, in September of 2019, which was the grand finals against Goliath Gaming in the VS Gaming Cup that year, uh, VS Gaming tournament that year. So this is a team with a pedigree and they also have a pedigree of dominating the Beastie Boys as well. Now, with the way that this RMG last minute standing tournament played out with the Swiss style format, not every team played every other team in the group stage. And one, two teams that missed each other were these two teams. So we haven't seen them play a best of five with these iterations of these rosters just yet. But in the middle, um, middle cup, middle state super cup, well, suddenly that's a tongue twister. Middle state super cup, uh, Randberg did take a pretty dominant 2-0 victory over the Beastie Boys. So Beastie Boys are coming into some, with something to prove for sure. The, the fact that the last game that they lost was in a, gra was in a grand finals is interesting though. Is It yep. might just be that you, you can run an entire tournament flawlessly, mm -hmm. but it really does come down to that last game to see if you, if you drop it at that stage, it's as good as dropping it way early. I mean, you get obviously a run up yeah. prize pool. Both these Can teams say, have got secured themselves. In, in hand, you get a but... few more peanuts, but you know, when it comes to the pride, mm. that's where you really don't want to choke out at any stage. And it's interesting that in that stage, two of the members from Beastie Boys were the people to find the chinks in their armor. So there was Visions and Mito who came through at that stage um, with obviously a very different team. But these are players who know a lot of these old ATK now, obviously the Randberg mm -hmm. Fire Department, they know them. And I mean, we've even got Squishy who was playing with these guys for so long that there's a lot of familiarity between these teams. Yeah, no, absolutely. These and, and just not in, just in terms of the, the names at the top of the nameplates, but also the players themselves mm, looking at the squads, you really only not know not is a player who hasn't been in this community actively for 
you know, since that last time ATK lost. They've all been around, they've all been winning games, grinding super hard um, at different stages to, to be the best and now they're coming together and it's really paying off. And of course that, that ATK finals against Goliath Gaming looked very different to this one for a number of reasons. The rosters were different, the meta was different, the, everything was quite different, but uh, the, the, the amount of experience on both these teams really stands out. Um, but that said, we always have to give a kind of reminder or a disclaimer that these teams are not the most hardest practicing teams that we have <laughs> around. Uh, so really anything can happen if you're, they're relying a lot, both of these teams on, on how good they are on the day, the mechanical skill and their inherent, um, understanding of Overwatch that they've built up over years of being so successful. That's what they're relying on to, to carry them through as teams. And, that can always create a bit of an uncomfortable situation when things don't go your way. Oh, of course. You know, if you look at the, the players, you talk about mechanical skill from Randberg Fire Department, the two DPS, Aquatic and 20, have been favoring something like Apex Legends, which is completely different, but they've still been dominating something like that. These guys have such good aim that they could be able to click heads in any meta. But if the other team has got a trick up their sleeve, it's going to be interesting to see if they've got something that can find it. Of course, Randberg Fire Department coming through with Fran Francesco and Dizzy on your two tank rolls. Aquatic and 20, your DPS gods from South Africa, you, you mm -hmm. know, unrivaled in many, many aspects if you look at them in, in a 1v1 environment. And Gus Buster and Like a Luke, such a strong team, such a well-known team of pedigree that you talk about that... Even if you're not practicing a specific meta, um, which has changed up a lot in the recent history, you, you're looking at a team with a lot of history behind them and a lot of skills that they understand what every character does here, yeah, even if they haven't played them in a month. Yeah, no, absolutely. Condi, by the way, is uh, Francesco. They are one and the same, so no confusion there. And then, as you say, just a ton of punching power. What stands out most about this team is that mechanical prowess you spoke about, but it is really these two hitscan DPS, and it is two hitscan DPS. Um, Aquatic is a very capable Farah, but I've never ever seen him play Genji, for example. Um, Genji not the world's most popular hero, and he's, he's strong enough as a player he can make anything work. But that's what you're expecting to see out of this Randwick Fire Department, is two strong hit scan players that you have to shut down. And if one is on song, the other one doesn't have to be, and he can start pulling the pressure. Uh, and you can't, it's, it's a kind of situation where you can't leave either of these players alone for any length of time as, as the Beastie Boys, because they will find space, they will find angles, and any opportunities that they get, they will take advantage of of course and it's going to be up to beastie boys to try and shut that down obviously the tank lineups looking to make some space out there in the front repost and visions gonna have to get on top of aquatic and 20 and try and make them have a little bit less impact in the game that might be what the beastie boys is aiming and very aware of going into this is here is our key to victory in the general sense of mm -hmm. we got to make sure that their dps don't have any time to start picking apart people because it's very difficult to hold together as a unit and prevent yourself from being picked off you know a shield yeah. only has so much hp corners may get uh in your way or you, you might not get back to them in time if you're standing out in the open and you can't rely on something like a shield to get there so repose and vision is going to have a lot of work to do to try and get on top of them not no not and mito are going to have to take some jewels here at the end of the day in the dps roles very proficient players in their own right of course um but are they going to be up to that mechanical prowess that we see? And then Squishy and Wallace, both of which are very well known for making some big plays from the support role. Yeah, no, this is a, a very strong lineup, absolutely. And the question for me really is around not, no, not and Mito. If we if we presenting the opposing uh, DPS players as a key to victory here, you have to look then at the Beastie Boys' own beast, uh, DPS players and see how do they match up. If it comes to a man-on-man -man boxing match who's going to take it and so far historically that's been favoring Randburg fire department 20 and aquatic are unstoppable monsters but you and i altruism we know that mito and not no not are no slouches in any regard not no not can get the space to work with he's going to click his he's going to make yep. Randburg look like fools and mito he's that space creator when i think of a space creator dps this is the kind of player that comes to my mind. He can play the Junkrat, the Farah, the Echo, anything along those lines to put the pressure on Randberg and make sure they're focusing him, which gives Not No Not a lot more space to work with. And then, of course, you always have to look towards tanks and supports to aid the DPS in 
um, that endeavor. And Overwatch isn't necessarily always about DPS, but like, these two comp these two rosters, they're striking as very DPS focused. Mm. No, oh, 100%. And, you know, I think each of them has their own personal flavor towards that. Aquatic, you talked about the Farah, someone that they're very proficient on. 20, a very well-known tracer player in South Africa. Not No Not, <laughs> on the other hand, is very good at those other DPSs that are, rely on good mechanical aim. Something like a Widowmaker or a, a McCree. Being able to show it in last week's uh, match in the semifinals, being able to come through there. And certainly... You know, it's not just one or two picks that they can get. They can get three or four in the middle of a team fight and turn yeah. that tide so quickly. Mito coming through with a Junkrat or a Torbjorn, which we don't often see, um, that teams might not know all the way. You know, Aquatic is known for the Pharaoh, but if you're going into a, a Torb that you're not expecting, you actually end up in a lot. We are going to be going to Nepal for our first map. And so this control point, what do you expect to see out of these teams and how do you expect them to run this? Well, this, this, you mentioned the Torbjorn from Meter, right? This is the map that pops out to me as a Torbjorn favorite map and points specifically on Nepal. We know how incredible Meter is with the Molten Core. And I mean, speak of the devil and he shall appear here. He's going to get the value out of that. And it's just about can the tanks uh, keep stay alive and, and keep the pressure off not, no, not here on this McCree. But on the other side, they're fighting into Aquatic. And that's a great way to keep the pressure off 20. Interesting to see, though, we're not going to match them on a dive composition here. They're going to go for the Rhine Diva on the side of Randburg Fire Department. And I'm interested to see how these two things clash. I'm hesitant to call a winner here, just looking at the, the drafts. But um, should be an interesting match to, to see play out. Oh yeah, the, the much more stable static team comp coming out from Ramberg Fire Department versus the mobility from Beastie Boys. And they're going to obviously be looking for angles. Ramberg Fire Department just wants to run at them for now. And you see Repost just decides to peel away from them, just keep some space there. Ooh, it is going to be a poor uh, visions going down at the beginning of the fight. And that's going to put them at a disadvantage as Ramberg Fire Department just keeps on that pace. They just want to keep running forwards. And a nice boot from Wallace to give them some space. But the rest of Brandberg Fire Department just controlling the space, fighting exactly where they want to. A bit of pressure now for Aquatic. He could be in trouble then. The boop off the edge nearly gets some work. Beastie Boys getting some picks of their own into the beginning of this fight, but they've got to run into this very stable team comp. And Brandberg Fire Department going to be very happy with the fact that they are now tucked in this corner. They can just sustain themselves out nicely here, get the picks where they need to. And you see, it is going to be Beastie Boys. They pinned them in the corner a little bit, getting some picks where they need to. Still the point contested. It has ticked over for Randburg Fire Department at the beginning of this. So as long as this fight keeps dragging out, they're going to be quite happy, but they're losing people too quickly. Oh, nice uh, immortality field. They're going to keep um, Visions alive there. He was the first to drop in that team fight. It made it a bit difficult for them to push in, but nice patient play from the Beastie Boys there. They didn't really even end up losing that first team fight altruism. They dropped one hero, pulled back, and jumped right on in when they had their, their full numbers ready to go. So that was really nice play from the Beastie Boys. And they're going to be in control here for the first team fight, although 33% built up for Randburg. Definitely, and now we start with seeing the ultimates coming out from both these teams. Not No Not going to push his ultimate out there, and Repost with that um, Primal Rage going to come through and take Like a Luke out. And so all the players from Randburg Fire Department going to be taken out quite early into this fight. Nice, good securing of the point for Beastie Boys. They had to drop a lot to keep it there, but they have managed to at least even out that percentage on the point. Yeah, no, very nice stuff from them. And this is really good for Mito because he can just set up a turret now and set up a nice crossfire to shut down the um, Randwick Fire Department as they come in. Tons of ultimates to work with, though, for the blue team. They're going to come in with four ultimates, make that five as Condi works towards his. So this could be an explosive team fight. Can Beastie Boys weather the storm with that molten core? And I like this movement from Beastie Boys, just getting out of the range of Randburg Fire Department, making them run towards it. And they've baited them That's into awesome. that um, fantastic Molten Core. Dizzy coming over the top, though, with that self-destruct. Manages to pin Beastie Boys in a corner. And this should be Beastie Boys having to give up this point. They're still staggering it out for a little bit. And so we'll keep ticking up that percentage. But Randburg Fire Department has found the chink in the armor and should be able to get the point contested. Vision's doing a good job of sticking around and being reinforced now vision's gonna drop the bombs on the point and this is great play from beastie boys now reinforced by the beat means that they've actually got up all the way up to 90 percent on this 20 dropping a great ult to secure a couple of kills beastie boys finally gonna go down at the end of this fight and that's gonna be all they wrote but 90 percent is such a good use of ultimates to secure that 
Uh, BC Boys are looking actually very well put together here as a unit. You know, the way they're playing is, is very intelligent. The calls are coming while uh, they're making smart decisions. You know, that's not something we always see out of these top tier, high mechanically skilled um, teams making good decisions as a team. Individuals will always make good decisions because that's how good they are. But BC Boys coming out the better as a unit here in this matchup so far. Um, but we're going to have to see now can this composition oh. work a bit more better defensively? But 20 going down is a terrible start for Andrew. That is very, very bad. They're going to rely on that. So now the Death Blossom drops oh, into this, up. but there's no value out of it. And finally manages to take out Mito, but Wallace getting the boop off. Um, the self-destruct not being able to find anything there. And so this point still going the way. Aquatic holding on valiantly, getting a couple of kills there to secure the rest of this team fight. And the rest the of it so far, uh, the point has not been turned over. Yeah, no, this is looking pretty bad all of a sudden for Beastie Boys Aquatic with the big hero play there, picking up a couple of kills off the back of it. Beastie Boys looked in firm control, but Aquatic just getting a few kills at the exactly right moment, including Riposte on the main tank, helps his team push forward. And now it's going to come out to the Ramberg Fire Department, st stalling out with that beat and dropping all the rest of their ultimates that they need. They're clearing up this fight quite quickly. This is going to have to be a big bomb over the top. It doesn't do anything. Mito going to have to make something work with this Molten Core, but doesn't really find anyone. Still coming in, though, with a lot of aggression into the back line. Start picking up some picks, but there's still enough Randberg Fire Department left on this point that they're going to be able to take it out now. And overtime is going to clear down. Still a closer match than we were expecting. Well, I mean, one map in and there's a lot to play for here. I'm, I'm very happy to see that. But it seems to be the dynamic developing here is Randberg relying a lot on the prowess of their individual players and Beast of Boys working much better together as a team now. As I said, it is only one map of one map, so a little bit too early to, to draw any um, too grand a conclusion here. But still, I think that's an interesting thing we're going to have to keep an eye out for here. I was looking at Aquatic's Reaper though and kind of umming and ahhing and, and you know last week I kind of gave out a little bit to, to Jelly's um, Reaper in that match against these two boys and really didn't feel it working but here yeah, Aquatic finding value on it there and we'll have to see if he can continue to do that. 20 I imagine is going to switch to something else here unless he wants to play as a Metro and she's not actually that bad on this point. No, 100% um, can be used, especially if you can get some position and a nice creative play to get around onto nice. the point, going to be able to set up some turrets on the point. And with Beastie Boys on that much more static composition that they uh, have swapped to now, it means that they're going to struggle to push into this 20 can start charging up that beam. And, you know, a shield is great to hide behind, but it just gives the Symmetra such free charge going into a point like this. And now she can start cleaving through 20 with that aim is going to be able to secure the first point here for Ramberg Fire Department. And they can just hold now behind from, uh, the, sorry, Condi's oh, shield, but Mito, Mito gets the, the pivotal pick and they can start pushing forward. Beastie Boys running onto the point now. It's going to be up to 20 and diminishing supplies from Randberg Fire Department to try and make this work. You see Gutbuster trying to stall out that point. But again, the patient play from Beastie Boys, just taking the fight where they want to and when they want to means that they're able to now turn the point in their favor. Yeah, this is again exactly what we saw on um, the previous points in his uh, Sanctum. Like, Randberg takes that first initial engagement perfectly, right? Gets that opening pick, but this time they trade out Aquatic and immediately Mito has a space to work with. He's firing shots in, he gets rid of Condi, and then they push forward. So once again, a better start for Randberg, but Beastie Boys playing perfectly around what heroes they had alive and what cooldowns they had available. So uh, this Beastie Boys team is impressing me so far, and even though they do end up losing this map, I think there's a lot that could happen after this. And a huge Dragon Strike cuts into the backside of Randberg Fire Department. Going to chew down a lot of their HP so far. No picks coming out of it just yet. And, but it does allow Beastie Boys to run for it. They don't want to, though. They've been doing such a good job of keeping the space between them and Randberg Fire Department. And I think that's what's been securing it for them so far. Now they've got to survive up to that Baptiste Amplification Matrix. They managed to drop down the beat into this as Randberg Fire Department runs forward. They from the uh, blue side as well, but still their HP is going down. A massive shadow comes through. Death Blossom on the point from Aquatic again being the savior for his team. But he's got very few people still left to work with. It's up to this double DPS combo from Ramberg Fire Department to try and hold on to this. And 
They've managed to get the shield down. Twenty's gonna pay with their life, and still <laughs> Beastie Boy survives. Oh my God! What happened there, Altruism? Oh, in my head, I was already constructing an argument here that was pro Randberg's performance in that team fight, and all of a sudden it just turned on its head. I thought the way Randberg is playing is is excellent around what their strengths are. Right? They've got incredible shield break into this double shield composition. We we spent some time on Vision there, and so how we couldn't really stand and fight, stand and face. He kind of had to back around, and Randberg used that space to move forward. But now coming to this fight. Twenty has switched on to his own um, hit scan here, and he gets the opening pick straight away. And that Wallace pick is actually very big. Yeah, it, we have seen Beastie Boys having to rely on that maneuverability to they avoid the side of Randberg Fire Department. They get the early pick, and now they are just going to be able to collapse. No chance for Beastie Boys to run away in this fight. Yeah, much uh, much better execution there from Randberg. As you say, getting the pick on Wallace, they made it a lot easier for them to get on top of the Beastie Boys. And that's kind of what this comp wants to do. They want to get aggressive, want to move forward and punish this slow tank composition here from the Beastie Boys. And did a good job of it that time. Now we're starting to get to last fights and that pin opens things up. Gutbuster managing to get a kill there on Repost. Vision's also going to go down. And so um, with it up to 71%, Beastie Boys just going to have to reset. They've got another chance to come in this. It really is starting to get to one fight and an overtime for each of these teams. Yeah, it's coming down to the wire here, Altruism. Uh, you know, looking at Condi with his ulti repost with his, Condi's fighting into two shields here, so his job yeah. is a lot harder. But they've got the um, Not No Nots ultimate here for the Beastie Boys, so that's going to help them even more. And you can see the charge forward from Condi trying to get in range and pass those shields to get something, and he finds the opportunity, gets the massive shed onto the back line, only manages to get the one kill out of this, still the rest of it going through. But Ramberg Fire Department does well enough to keep Beastie Boys off the point, and it means that they take our first control point. Wow, okay, this is some high quality Overwatch. Oof. I don't know why I sound so surprised. Like, this isn't the two best teams <laughs> in the country, but uh, they're performing a lot more coordinated and synergistic plays than we're used to seeing out of these two teams specifically. Look at that. The window comes up perfectly timed. Actually, didn't end up helping him, but he does pick up the double kill with that and then an easy couple of shots onto. Um, Vision. So, really nice performance there out of out of both teams, actually. And Randberg do end up coming out with a 2-0 victory. But the Beastie Boys, they're making some smart plays, some intelligent plays, and, and leaning on their biggest strength, in my opinion. And that, uh, when compared to Randberg, at least. And that is Vision's knowledge of the game and his ability to marshal his squad into uh, winning in some situations where they might otherwise struggle. So, that, for me, is the dynamic that's kind of developed here. And I'm interested to see whether the Beastie Boys can leverage that into some map wins now, or whether, um, uh, sorry, Randberg Fire Department is just too good at their heroes and too good at Overwatch to be run over by a smarter play. Yeah. You know, the intelligent play is coming out and it's very clear from both of the sides. On the one side, we got Beastie Boys who realizes these guys have to get in close. With something like a Symmetra, something like a Reaper, the damage is going to be there when you're within 20 meters. Yeah. If you stay without that, then you're going to be fine. You're going to be able to wait. And even if they gave up the first point, they leveraged that 20% to then take a fight when they've got the opportunity. Mm -hmm. However, Randberg Fire Department is going, okay, we need to get on top of them. So picking Wallace is the go signal. They can't run away. They don't have the Lucio speed boost. Let's get on top of them. They get yeah. any sort of clever picks. They break the shields. They get um, Condi in there with that Earth Shadow. And they go, Condi's not going to do anything from our chair. Let's get him in there, get that shatter, and win the team fight from there. And so yeah. the two of them understand very well the strengths of their own team, the strengths of the opponent's team, and it's just been Randberg that's executing it slightly better so far. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think if I talk about team intelligence from the Beastie Boys and synergy and coordination, it's really the individual intelligence of each player on the side of Randberg that's that's pushing them through here. We saw some excellent ultis in play from Aquatic there on the Reaper here that struggles a bit in these kind of matches sometimes. Um, but he was managing to find good angles. We saw him perfectly popping his Wraith form to dodge a couple of McCree, McCree stuns. And that can be the difference between winning and losing a team fight sometimes. Um, and you can see not no not he's used to getting getting one over on players who come in like that and punishing them. But Aquatic's too smart for that. There's been a couple of really, really smart plays coming out from the individuals on the side of Randberg that's forcing them through. And, and that, again, is, is the question here. How long can you rely on that against the team? Because remember, these two teams are very equally matched in most places. And these differences that we're talking about here, altruism, are, are very minor differences that only matter when two teams are as equally matched as these two are. 
Um, you know, when I talk about coordination, Beastie Boy being better, I'm not saying Randberg is a bad team when it comes to that. I'm saying Beastie Boys is a cut above everybody else that they play against. And that really is the question again. Can Randberg keep pushing through? Or does Beastie Boys have what it takes? You know, I'm excited from what we saw after that first match. I think Beastie Boys showed up here much more than they did in the Metal State Super Cup. And I want to see if they can keep that momentum going. Oh, yeah. You know, you talk about their individual players having to come through, something like Aquatic dodging those stuns or something like that. And it can mean that if you don't get that exactly right, you lose the fight. Because yeah. we've been relying on stuff like Aquatic and 20 being alive at the end of the fight and then being able to pull off some sort of clutch play where the two of them can clean up four players, where you've got a, a very big player deficit. But because of your individual players, you can then pick them off one by one and turn yeah. around a lost fight effectively like we saw in Sanctum there. Mm -hmm. But can they carry on doing that? We are going to be going to our second map. It is a, a hybrid map. And where everyone's going, oh, time to see some Kings Row. That's not <laughs> the case. We have a set map pool for today. And so mm -hmm. we're going to be going through to Eichenwald. And this is a map with its very own strategy. It's one of the things I love about hybrid maps. And Eichenwald, with that high ground on the streets phase, with that very firm choke in the open. Are we going to see an aquatic Farah coming in over the top? Are we going to see a weird teleport play from um, 20? What do you expect to see on this next map? I think those are both absolutely options we could see coming out for for um, for Randberg Fire Department. I think they've got a lot of depth. They showed us on on Nepal, and they're not afraid to uh, not afraid to get creative. And that's something I like to see out of um, top tier South African teams. A lot of the time, they kind of just want to grind the meta composition. But when they can get creative and execute while put together set plays, that's exciting to see. The Fire is obviously a very popular pick here on this map, but really you can do anything at this level with these two teams they're not going to be playing what's set and what makes sense necessarily they're going to be playing on comfort picks and be playing what um, works for their roster best in the moment so hard one to call on that one altruism but uh, it's funny you know this map pool i think is identical to what was in metal state super cup um grand finals where it was nepal into eichenwald of course the series then ended there because it was <laughs> best of three for some reason um, I actually self censored there a little bit. Uh, but now we're going to see them play it out. Guys, just to remind you, this is a best of seven. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. So there's a lot of time for both teams to respond to what the other is doing. Oh, and that, that I think could become pivotal. It's not a case of you just need to get one or two chinks in the armor of your opponents and yes. win a lucky fight here or there or just get away for a really nice ultimate. It is going to come down to the better team is going to win. And when you consider that on that control point, both of the maps we saw BC boys get up to 80%. They were one fight effectively away from actually taking either of those maps. And so it really could come down to a team pushing 99% of the way versus 100% of the way. Yes. It, it's these margins, these tiny little things yeah. that are going to come through. We do see Aquatic coming through on that Pharometer, going to go through instead with that um, Echo. And we do see again this big shield composition coming out, this time from Randberg Fire Department on defense versus Beastie Boys going for a much more mobile composition and trying to give Squishy and Not No Not some space on the front lines or in the back lines at least. Yeah, um, interesting to note as well, I'm going Hamzo in now for Wallace. This is a switch we saw the make on Town last time. So they clearly want Hamzo in on the Brigitte for these kinds of maps. Um, Junkertown not entirely dissimilar from Icon Vault. Oh, Aquatic though opens up the ledger for uh, Randberg Fire Department. And I love this play from BC Boy so far. They tried to go in for these little poke and prods, see what the limits are from Randberg Fire Department. But Aquatic, so proficient on that Farah. You step out of position for a second, he's going to find an angle on you. Come around and you see Beastie Boys just respecting, okay, we know what they're running, we know how they're running it, let's rethink this. They've swapped visions onto the Wrecking Ball now to try and get behind the enemy team. And um, Randberg Fire Department now going to be able to uh, again, just try and stall up. No one's going to be able to take down Visions on the back line. And so far, Beastie Boys starting to put some pressure in there. But that Dynamite shuts down Visions at the beginning of this. Now, Mito in over the top, trying to get an off angle onto Ooh. this. Going to get taken down 20 again during this. And it puts Beastie Boys back on the defensive. Yeah, look at the support composition coming out of Beastie Boys here, Altruism. I think something that stands out to me is that there is literally no healing coming out. If, if Hamzo is not in the mix, he cannot get the Inspire procs and get that healing through. And Squishy's going to want to keep his on... He's 
gonna want to keep himself alive and in the game, obviously. <laughs> he's gonna want to keep his orb on Milito here in the sky, and if not, on the monkey who's getting aggressive. But if Vision's gonna put the pressure on like that and take so much damage, because where's the healing coming from? Nobody's gonna be able to heal him yeah. when he comes out of that, and that's gonna be they have to play at such a high tempo to make this work. And um, ATK or sorry, <laughs> the <Red Bull> <laughs> department just isn't letting them do that. No, of course, and if you start looking at the difference in ultimates, there's one of them Ooh. coming out there. A big barrage from the top, and again, between 20 and Aquatic, there's no hope for Beastie Boys to stay alive through a concerted effort like that. And they dropped one, two ultimates in that fight, also dropping the supercharger from Condi. But they've still got three, four in the bank left for the next fight, and we're only just starting to see the ultimates coming up here for Randberg Fire Department. Yeah, that's what happens if you lose, and look who the ultimates are on, the supports. That tells you quite a lot. Uh, nobody else is doing much here, unfortunately, and the heals are having to come through uh, quite a bit. Oh, here comes the rest of play from Vision, sir. And a big, big aggressive play coming out from BC Boys to try to run into the front line, using that transcendence um, onto the point, and now being able rally. to back it up with that rally means that a good oh, chance here for Beastie Boys to get onto the point. Still, there's a couple of kills going down from them, and so they've lost, not, 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 they've lost Squishy on this front point, and so that's a lot of their damage going down. Still, the rest of the team working well enough together to get onto the point, and with 60 seconds left, we see Aquatic having to drift lazily into the background, throwing in some rockets, but not being able to contest it. So the good choosing of the time of attack here yeah, from Beastie no, Boys. That was the only way they were going to win with this composition, right? It's just bolster the wall aggression, put the pressure on, and what did they do? They identified the target they were looking for, and they got him straight away. 20 dying right off the back there. And that puts Gutbuster under a ton of pressure, because he's keeping to want, he keeps wanting to go for that resurrection. He's not going to be able to get it when they put the pressure on like that. And this is a nice poke here onto this higher ground repose trying, but again, where's your healing coming through? Not really anyone able to keep him alive, and so his poking and prodding does eventually come out. Now it's Vision's turn to swing onto the high ground, looking to offset them. Doesn't manage to get any sort of poop off there, but a nice bit of bombs is going to secure this high ground here for BC Boys. Repose going to be going through with his ultimate as well. That primal rage knocking everyone around, forcing them into the room. Condi's in a bad position now, and eventually Repose goes down, 20 being able to find the kills there. And is he going to jump onto the point to try and contest the stop and moving forwards? They've also got a bob on the point here that's going to be able to put in some damage in the back line, and it is Randberg Fire Department having taken control of this once again. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of that initiation there from Visions. He went in with his bombs, but they just lost Hamza, and we just discussed how they have no healing. So what's less than zero? Uh, negative one healing, and that doesn't help anybody on your team. So we saw the Primal Rage went in there, but he just got grinded down without the back of his backup of his force. Squishy's good, but he can't make Zenyatta heal more. That's not what a good aim can give you, unfortunately. No, uh, and we do see them swapping now. I'm going Hamzo instead swaps onto that Mercy, trying to follow everyone. And this pick on 20 is big. Gutbuster's going to follow just afterwards. Mito proving very pivotal in this fight and could actually secure this, um, at least this archway for the side of Beastie Boys. Still, Mito looking to push forward and Dizzy now caught out into a bad position. Mito going to go onto the high ground. He has managed Ooh. to find two and we see Aquatic having swapped off that Farah has decided to rely instead on the very consistent DPS of the Soldier 76 and still Randberg Fire Department fighting it out for this high ground. The payload keeps pushing though. It has managed to get all the way onto the bridge and someone's going to have to try and contest this at this, some stage. We do see Randberg Fire Department taking a nice position on here and they've got the kills that they need to. They've got Squishy out. Mito managing to turn that around almost instantly though and 20 going to go down at this fight and the dive in from Dizzy tries to find some point but still Randberg Fire Department losing a couple in this but taking out all the kills that they need to, to stabilize for now. Pretty good push here from Beastie Boys though. They've gotten through this archway and now they can look to get up, but they need to be careful now because you want it on Randberg, you want to defend from up here. You want to defend from on the high ground and control the various chokes from, from this high ground position, but they need to just watch for anyone going on the back end. You can see they keep having to go back and check. Is anyone on the car trying to sneak a C9 in there? Because that's the worst way to lose a point. But there's lots of RPs now for Beastie Boys to work with. The stack fighter though could be big. Oh! oh 
big pick comes out in the beginning, but the nice thing about having that Mercy is you are able to get back into the fight, and the bomb over the top shuts down um, the Immortality Field and the Supercharger from Ramberg Fire Department, putting them on the back line, and now it's Aquatic having to run for his life. Mito has his target on his back, and um, now they manage to pin them into the, the bottom. Eventually, Beastie Boys collapses onto them, and as the time ticks into overtime, it does look like Beastie Boys are going to be able to close this out. This is trying valiantly to hold it here at the end, really wants to try and get up this ultimate to try and clear something out and not no not drops the ultimate just goes straight into that defense matrix but it is going to end up paying with their life and so uh, dizzy has managed to get up the ultimate and so aquatic tries to come through with the reaper to stall things out dizzy did manage to find one with that self-destruct but now it's going to be everyone else not really able to stay on the point here dizzy again back in mech is back on and with the immortality field this could actually be an opportunity for randberg fire department to try and stall this out they do very impressive stuff there. They actually Ooh. benefit from the fact that they all died at once, so they all rejoined the fight at once there. Does he came in a little bit earlier than the rest just to keep the card off the choke there, off the, the point that they needed to cap. And then the immortality field from, from Luke was just absolutely perfect. Kept Dizzy um, healthy for just long enough for the rest of the team to join them. And they all came back at once. And then you're taking a 6v6, and that's not an easy win anymore for the Beastie Boys after burning a whole lot of ultimates to get that far in the first place. So, yeah, a little bit unfortunate almost there for Beastie Boys, but uh, that's the kind of situation Randberg's going to excel in. Anytime they need to rely on their skill, their inbuilt um, understanding of Overwatch as individuals, that's going to help them grind out. So, unfortunate for Beastie Boys not to push all the way there, but looking pretty good, but I, I wasn't that hot on that, that opening composition. I moaned a little bit about the supports, and I think Squishy makes sense on the Zen. He's, he was a top-tier DPS um, back when, when he was in his prime, a little bit before he joined the more recent iteration of ATK. And um, so it makes sense to put him on those kind of heroes, but the Baptiste can get the same kind of value, but triple or quadruple the healing. So I like seeing him on this hero, um, but I'm interested to see now what Randberg want to do here. 20 on the soldier, interesting one there, but um, have to see how it works out for them. I must admit also that Brigida, as soon as you're trying to assault the high ground, Brigida is just left on the low ground going, mm -hmm. guys, what am I supposed to do up down here? And so I like the swap onto the Mercy, if nothing else, um, just to try to get that Gutbuster going to go down at the beginning of this fight. Randberg Fire Department probably not going to be able to make something out of this first push. And you see Mito now looking for, 20, for Aquatic on that Tracer in the back line. And still Randberg Fire Department going to look to push forward a little bit. Mito throwing in damage. Um, those tree trunks, as you like to call them, downrange and aquatic, just stalling it out, just actually deciding to wait out for this fight. And the poke battle carries on through this. We do see Not No Not having swapped onto that long range ash, um, going to be able to put in damage along there. And with those dynamites, consistent damage still stalls out for just a little bit. As we see Randberg Fire Department now coming in from the side, uh, we're going to see Not No Not flying to the skies, trying to stay alive. I'm going Hamzo, though, has been targeted by Aquatic, going to go down. And that's most of the healing. Squishy on the last legs as well, just staying alive through the mortality field and has managed to get out a little bit. A nice Bob on the point is going to contest this for a little bit, but Bob alone is not going to be able to stall out for Beastie Boys. And so Randberg Fire Department, much faster time on this first point. Yep, at least to start it off. And they won in a very similar way that um, Beastie Boys won their first push, but much, much quicker. Oh, Red's coming in, gets a repost to not over yet, Altruism, as the respawns are coming through. Oh, this is nice. Back to, uh, with Beastie Boys putting both of their tanks back on this point. Ooh, and a remake kill. Goodbye, Gutbuster. That's going to be a nice chance for Beastie Boys to restore this. Also going to be dropping a bomb over the top. Oh, it's going to be Dizzy's bomb instead, though. And so the self-destruct going to be picking up one kill. Beastie Boys st st staggers it out for a little bit longer, buys them a little bit more time. But they don't have a lot of time considering they have to now stall it out on the street space. Yeah, much more importantly though, altruism is look what Beastie Boys, I mean what Randwick Fire Department are doing here. They're all getting set up on that high ground. They're getting aggressive with a pulse bomb comes through. The mortality field keeps everyone alive. But Randwick are playing this so uh, well. They're playing so aggressively, which is what I like to see on them, but not dumb brain off aggression. This is intelligent aggression, and that's the scariest kind of aggression. No, of course, you can see that they've valued this high ground so much from the beginning, both on the defense and oh, now a double self-destruct kill. Visions coming through out of nowhere, realizing that everyone sitting on that high ground comes through and makes an opportunity to turn this fight around. And it's the aggression from 
um, Beastie Boys uh, to turn it around versus the aggression of Ramberg Fire Department means that they're able to take control of the high ground. And this is a good position for them to hold. And they've got this Torbjorn on now, so they can set up a target on the high ground a bit further back if they want and allow this Baby Reaper to start pumping the damage in. And we know how Mito excels on this hero. Um, and really, this is where 20 is going to struggle if you can't get possession of that high ground with this team because Soldier doesn't really want to be sitting on the low ground shooting at shields uh, mm. for a lot of the time. So, see what 20 can get down here with this attack visor. We see Condi trying with the Primal Rage to get up onto that high ground and knock some people off. Has managed to get some value out of it and at least see people off there. And a nice kill by Like a Luke manages to open this up. Still, a lot of people from Beastie Boys on the high ground, but they're slowly being whittled down. Still, Condi goes back in, this time with the help of the, um, the beat, the sound barrier from Gutbuster. And a 20 it still has that attack visor and could use it to clean up this point. Still, Condi. So never willing to give up any sort of aggression, just runs at the opponents. And it has been Randberg Fire Department making their last um, push towards the final. You know, someone in the back line here, I believe it's the Diva, but now they can get aggressive, start to stuff them up in the chokes here, make sure they have trouble coming through. This Nanabu is going to help them, force them, uh, Beastie Boys, back here. And look at this. Oh, this is huge aggression play coming out there and such nice work from Condi so far to hold everyone now. Still, it has been Beastie Boys wrapping around the outside. A bomb comes over the top. Self-destruct from Dizzy. Takes out the triple kill. Comboed with attack visor means no one can run onto the point. No one can defend it. And it is going to be Ramberg Fire Department taking their second map. I mean, that one is pretty dominant altruism. I was holding up my hopes after the pal that we'd get a close series here. But Randy there it is again. on the Gotta attack, be. yeah, we get to see it here in the flesh from Dizzy's perspective. Hopefully give us an emote here after he chucks it out, but I doubt it. He's <laughs> busy dying to the molten call. A triple kill over the top just to push them over the edge. But I think Randberg looks pretty solidly in control of that. And a few compositional mistakes, I'd have to say, from the BC yeah. boys there. I felt like the way they had that composition set up, they needed to pay absolutely non-stop aggression. And they just weren't doing that. And then they were getting taking tons of damage. You saw Visions rolling through a couple of times and just getting absolutely rinsed on his way through. He has to go back and Squishy has to watch him slowly heal up with that little orb or I guess he gets a, a, an armor pack or something. But I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you bring Hamzo in here, right? But then you play a, comp a composition where the Brigitte just doesn't fit as well, in my opinion. And then maybe they were expecting more Tracer, more flankers out of... Um, Aquatic and 20, but that's not really a style they've been playing. Aquatic has been playing a bit of that playmaker style, uh, more flanky um, heroes, but he's been doing it on the Reaper and that kind of thing. He doesn't play Genji, as we've discussed already, as far as I know. So it's going to be the Tracer, and he doesn't have to play the Tracer when he can he can match um, 20 with the long range pick off heroes like the they were running the um, soldier Hanzo it was and then the Rita just does nothing and then I'm looking at it and I'm saying what if you had Wallace here on the Lucio and you could go with you and get aggressive and put the pressure on the high ground and then dominate Randberg with an extra player instead of having a um, Hamza sitting the point going yo guys what's uh, how's it going up there eh? on, on top of the roof where I just get to sit and watch no 100% you know the, the reason why Beastie Boys did so well on the control point was that they understood what the point of their composition was and they yeah. executed it really well they avoided the other team and it was the team working together to do exactly what they had planned and here there was no plan there, there really wasn't when, when you go eichenwald high ground brigida mm -hmm. is mm. that really it and I'm, like we can't put it all on just i'm going hamzo there was a no. great play coming out there from um rambo fire department in general but they lost that edge. They lost that competitive um, bring the fights to your opponents and where, where you want to fight, not them. It allowed Brandberg Fire Department to stand as far away from they want, control that high ground the entire way, both on attack and defense. Yeah, They were able to stand where they wanted to, fire damage down from above. And Aquatic has got the aim that on a Soldier 76, 20's got the aim on an Ash that you're just going to be able to keep putting in damage that's not being healed up and throw as many tank volleys as at us as you want. They're not doing anything. They're not getting yeah. the picks. They're not getting the high ground control. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your team? Yeah, no, absolutely. And and you look at this, and and I've been. 
we've been spending a lot of time focused on the DPS because I think we've kind of identified that as a critical part of this this matchup this evening. But you have to look at the tanks as well and say, man, Francesco and Dizzy are playing so, so well together. And that's meaning 20 and Aquatic can just do whatever they want. They don't have to worry about anything. They can just they can sit in the back. Aquatic can waddle on in on the Reaper and, and punch somebody. Or he can sit on the Hanzo and shoot tree trunks, as you say, across the map. And 20 can sit in the high ground on the Soldier um, or the Ash and they are just not contested because the tanks are a brick wall. Luke on the support, especially as well, is doing an incredible job of supporting his tanks, who are in turn supporting the support. So uh, I hate to say it, but uh, Randberg is looking like the better unit with their coordination now. And that was the only strength I thought that Beastie Boys had over Randberg coming out of Nepal. And if that's the case, then it's it's tens across the board for Randberg and Beastie Boys have to dig a little bit deeper to find where they can leverage an advantage out of. Yeah. A big shout out to Dizzy for being able to stabilize the team on both the attack and the defense. They're coming mm -hmm. out with obviously that massive self-destruct kill. It wasn't the only set of self-destruct that really actually was pivotal in team fights, mm -hmm. but also being able to stall it out. Now it's going to be interesting to see when we're going through to Temple of Anubis. The the fact that it has been Beastie Boys, they've been able to find the, the capture of the points, but it's taken them three team fights, build up a bunch of alts and then dump them. Whereas Randberg Fire Department was able to come through and take one fight. Yes, they, they didn't push through on the first attack of Eichenwald. Yeah. But that was because they, they lost the pick and they were just like, all right, we'll do it on the second one. Aquatic got set up. Everyone got set up in nice positions. Mm -hmm. Is is Beastie Boys going to be able to push through with enough time that they're going to give themselves an opportunity? It might go through to a second round of attacks. Um, in which case, Randberg Fire Department, just from time, is going to be able to have this. Now we see Aquatic coming through on a nice uh, Widowmaker. Obviously got that skill to be able to come through. Going to be putting damage that long way. Um, good shot to come through there and still putting damage down range. Hasn't been able to pick anything up just yet. Uh, 20 coming through oh, the with the Yeah, That's, that's nice a, to see. That's a hot pick right there if I've ever seen one. He's going, uh, I'm going to play Mito's role in this one and try and pump the damage through here on the trash mouse. But so far, not doing a ton, but he's building close towards his ultimate here, and he's kind of a zone of inhibition around him that uh, Beastie Boys don't really want to get into. Dizzy has dropped, though, so Beastie Boys with an opportunity. And the, now we see, um, with 20 and the rest of the team, they're, they're leaving uh, Beastie Boys quite scattered around there. A really nice trap to just bait the Beastie Boys into it. Poor uh, Repose not going to be able to get out of that one. And so the zone of inhibition that you talk about is there. Oh, the Diva gets up the, the kill with that. And Mito, double kill on the high ground. This could be an opportunity. Beastie Boys going to be able to push onto the point. They were looking very scattered in the beginning of this. Now Dizzy sitting on the side there. Stand still, takes a shot to the head. And going to be the last casualty here. Yeah, Beastie Boys were so scattered. I thought that they weren't actually going to be able to pull through this. But the plays... Yeah, but 20's hero wants to play against heroes that are not scattered, right? This is a yeah. bad con to play Junkrat into. There's too much pressure, too much tempo, too much speed. And Junkrat kind of want to just close his eyes and, and push down the lane with, with the bombs. But he's got the ulti now. I expect we'll see him use that and probably switch onto an Ash or something along those lines. We did see the ult coming through here on the front line. We did see a couple of really nice tires in the previous uh, semi-finals that we cast last time. He's only going to get the one kill here, but with the rest of his team, he's made some space for them. Uh, is going to be able to secure this team fight. And poor oh, maybe no. Diva, really? Oh, this is, this is cruel. This is horrible to watch. Poor Vision's just going to go down so late into that fight. But still, nearly five minutes on the clock for Beastie Boys to make an effort out of this. And they've got almost all five, all six ults for this next one. Yeah, and Visions will get his, I mean, yeah, almost as his Repost will get his super quick. So the question becomes, how do you manage alt economy? You don't want to blow everything on the initial team fight because Randberg showed us they can come back in and win that neutral fight once all the ultis have been blown on Eichenwald. So that's the question. Can Beastie Boys get it done with three ultis and then clean up with the remaining? Well, Mito is going to answer that question, starting off with the Dragon Strike onto the point. We do see Kondo um, going to have this. Wallace also going to be reinforcing with that, but again, Dizzy, the double self-destruct kill. How much more do you want this player to do as they're able to clear the point? And that baits out three ultimates from the side of Beastie Boys, and still Rainbow Fire Department looking quite healthy here. It's going to be Beastie Boys running for their lives. Yeah, the more I'm watching this match, Altruism, the more it's becoming clear to me that it's just the tank difference between these two teams. I don't think the skill differential is enormous, but um, 
Dizzy and, and Condi are just playing incredibly together. They're not overextending, they're not getting too aggressive at the wrong times, but they're putting a ton of pressure on the players who need to have pressure on them. And you can rely on them to get big picks with their ultimate soul, with their great team. So that for me is the difference here between these two teams at the moment, is the tanks from the Beastie Boys are not getting as much value as the tanks of Rambo. No, of course, and there you see Riposte going into the back line, trying to get some of the uh, space there, but doesn't really put too much pressure on the back line of Randburg Fire Department. Now going to have to do something with this ultimate. Doesn't get the juggle off very nicely, and so everyone from Randburg Fire Department just running away. 20 still sticking on this Junkrat. Could be in a bit of danger, but again, runs away. And it is going to be uh, Riposte going to go down in this team fight, And so not the clean initiation that Beastie Boys would have liked. And again, they dropped a couple of ultimates. They went from having six ultimates to one versus now the nearly five of Ramberg Fire Department. And I think Mito switched halfway through, right? He went onto the Echo sort of towards the end of that. He's already up to 85%, but I mean, yeah, it's initiation here for Beastie Boys. They keep losing a couple on the way in. 20 now has a tire. Aquatic switched onto the Reaper to even make sure even less of the opponent's tanks are going to get any value. Dizzy has another ultimate. Remember, he got a double at the beginning of that last fight. So Randberg are putting on a clinic here. This is scary to watch. Oh, that's a nice shutdown of 20 in the back line. Uh, Repose finally getting some value there. Shuts down the tire and gets the kill on 20. And Aquatic drops his ultimate as well. Death Blossom finds nothing. This could be an opportunity for Beastie Boys. They've only lost Squishy and they managed to crack the armor off Ramberg Fire Department. Still, they have to get to the point and they're not able to do it so far. Mito drops a Death Blossom of his own using that duplicate to try and get something into the back here. And they don't. Now Mito has to try to build that up from beginning and to end. And Ramberg Fire Department still tries to find something into this. Um, sorry, still stabilized onto the fight. Beastie Boys, Vision's going to be dropping that oh, self-destruct oh, on it. And yet Dizzy going to be the one with the self-destruct again coming through value for Ramberg Fire Department. Beastie Boys hasn't even come near to the point. Well, that's the, the style that Ramberg are playing. They're saying, like, if you fight us out here and Condi dies, you have to run through the rest of the team to even start capping the point. And by the time that happens, the, you know, Ramberg's not getting picked off for nothing here. They're at least trading every time. And that always, always favors the defense. We talk about it so often, but on second point of Anubis and, and any assault map, you need to take a clean fight. And when you come in with five ultimates, you need to win it. Or well, six ultimates in that previous fight. And not doing that, he's put you in such a difficult position. Now, not, no, not going to be the one to really dictate this next fight. That Death Blossom going to prove pivotal. He's already managed to take out Aquatic on that Counter Reaper, but still, he's, Aquatic's going to be able to reinforce by the end of this fight. So it's taking so long to get onto the point. The booster jet kill from Visions onto Gutbuster oh, could make nice something. Time. It is going to be not, no, not dropping that ultimate and just to take out the supports. It's try, it's BC Boys trying to find any avenue into the back line here, and they've lost their. Um, Reaper at this stage. Aquatic going to go down again in this Maybe. fight. The, the tire from the top takes out Repose. Still, Beastie Boys has managed to get up nearly two thirds on this point and making their final attempt. They've got to make this one work. Mito going to be swapping onto the monkey, but he's got to chew through this entire sound barrier. Good timing from Gutbuster to keep what left, what's left of his team alive. And still, Mito going to be trying to just Primal Rage to get out of here. It is not even going to be the second tick. Uh, you know, again, these fights are not clean, they need to be clean, and it's cool to sit here and watch and say, well, play better, which is ridiculous, <laughs> but it is just a case of Randbrook's not letting them get anything out of this. If they're getting picks, they're being traded very quickly afterwards, and with the defense the way it is, they are managed to get onto the point now, though at least altruism on the side of Beastie Boys. But for how long that double kill from Visions? Oh, this could actually be huge. Finally, the Diva ult comes through for Beastie Boys. They've had dealt with so many coming the other way from Ramberg Fire Department. Still, it has to be a clean fight. They've got the second tick. They've got six people on the point. They've got to clean this up nice and quickly. They're doing good target prioritization. And this could be finally Beastie Boys cleaning it up at the end. Do you want to waste more time? You had five minutes. And it takes an overtime to get the team together. Pub stuff, eh? Where you, you stuff. Wait, until, wait until the last um, the last team fight to get it together and actually cap the point. But I mean, okay, let's look at the positives here for the Beastie Boys. They've got something to defend now. Mm. They looked quite poor on the defense of Icon Vault, you have to say, or let me rephrase it rather, as Randberg looked absolutely dominant on their attack on Icon Vault. And so that doesn't fill me with a great deal of confidence for the Beastie Boys here. But they, what they need to clean up for me 
key, critical, is how they tend to work together. I'm not seeing Repost and Visions hook up the same way I'm seeing um, Dizzy and, and Condi hook up. I'm not seeing them get the same value out of these heroes. And you have to then ask yourself the question, why are you matching a comp that is better, a team that is better that you, at? wow, let's try the sentence from the beginning. Uh, why are you matching a team on a comp that they are better at, right? You have to try and mix it up, I think, here if you're Beastie Boys. You can't keep throwing your head against this brick wall that is matching Randburg Fire Department. Now, coming to this next one, though, on the defense, they can again lean on Mito's um, Torbjorn, but he's playing into Aquatic's Widowmaker and 20 on the McCree. That's two shots to get rid of that turret, and then they can focus on the rest of the game. Um, really, it's a question of can they shut down the, the Randburg Fire Department tanks? Because if they can't, the DPS is just going to pop off. This worries me. There's nothing for Beastie Boys that can really chew through both a uh, Winston and a Diva. You know, you don't have a big Reaper in the back line. You don't have a Soldier 76 or a Junkrat or something that just does huge amounts of damage. And so Rambling Fire Department can play this nice and slow. Keep your tanks up nice and healthy through the, the chip damage from Not No Not and Mito. And wait until you've taken out the turrets. There goes the turrets at the beginning of this fight. Still, uh, Condi falling a little bit low, but going to get picked up quite nice and quickly. And it's Beastie Boys being shoved back into a corner now. They've got uh, some new, nice sight lines. They're not, certainly not going to get flanked, and they're staying safe from that Widowmaker. Obviously, if anyone peeks their head out, they could be in trouble. And Mito doing a good job to actually just put damage down range. Aquatic not managing to find anything just yet. And it means that the turnaround, great aggressive play coming out from the tanks of Beastie Boys to shove the rest of Randburg Fire Department into a corner. And now they can collapse upon them. Aquatic not going to be in this fight. And the sleep comes out, but the heals from Beastie Boys are there. They're going to be able to trickle this out. And chasing them round and round in corners is all that Beastie Boys wants to do. They've got it this, um, the more time they waste here on this first attack, <laughs> the better it's going to look for them. And they're doing wonderfully so far. And they forced Aquatic to switch off the Watermaker. That was really intelligent play from the Beastie Boys there. Just slow it down, right? Slow everything down. Be uh, Randall wants to play quick. Right? So if you try and match their pace, clearly they're going to be better at executing, at least that's what we've seen, um, than, than the Beastie Boys are. So they slow down the pace, they pull back, they get their positioning well set up, and they allow the tank's time to go track down that Widowmaker and get rid of him. Um, the the Randburg Fire Department tanks can't just jump in, they'll get wrecked by Mito and Not No Not on the McCree and the Torbjorn. So they have to play a little bit slower, and that's working in Beastie Boys' favor, at least so far. Nice self-destruct comes in over the top here. Vision's trying to find something. And it's Mito coming through again. Can he come through clutch with this Molten Core? He's secured this corner, at least, for his team. Does get two kills, but taken out by Dizzy at the end of this fight. And so it's going to be up to Dizzy and Aquatic to try and make something work here. Like a Luke, not going to be there to support them anymore. Dizzy, can you come through with some sort of massive self-destruct? Takes out a post and gets the remake kill on Squishy. Yeah, how much more, Dizzy? You have got to be kidding me. The amount of plays coming out from this person even gets the D-Mech kill. Going to have to give up the mech of their own. And it's Aquatic and Dizzy on this point. Going to be able to turn around for Randburg Fire Department. Man, Dizzy, Dizzy was oh. one of the most underrated players on ATK squad. I mean, it was the most fast-started squad you could ask for. But Dizzy, Dizzy was the player where if you had to pick the weakest player, you'd probably say, it's probably Dizzy, right? And that's something against Dizzy. He was just on literally the most, um, the, the roster with the most star power we've maybe ever seen. But he does this sometimes. He shows up and he carries his team with big plays like that. His, his fundamentals are extremely good as well. And when you can rely on him to, to pull out big plays, it, it means you can just get away with murder there in more ways than one gonna have to pull off something again like that in the second point going into a couple of ultimates obviously Ramberg fire department has a few of their own but probably not gonna want to waste them in the beginning of this fight they are gonna throw out the pulse bomb uh, into the open still pushing forward into this and now it's the sound barrier drop it's Ramberg fire department not wanting to waste any time again like you say just wants to play fast into this not no not gonna be sitting there with his ultimate so gonna be looking to try and maybe recontest this point um, from afar, but he has been spotted out by the side of Ramberg Fire Department. They've got three people on it, but Beastie Boy is trickling in nicely. This could be a big ultimate. High Noon comes out. Dizzy running forward. He's going to use oh, that defense Gutbuster. matrix. Still Gutbuster going to go down in the back line, but Ramberg Fire Department still looking quite nice and healthy. Dizzy sitting on the sideline here is being targeted by Squishy. And so Beastie Boys reinforcing just withstanding that storm and that very fast play from Ramberg Fire Department to hold it for now. 
Yeah, but Rambo gave them a bit of an out there by getting aggressive onto the spawn doors instead of setting someone on the point to clean up Meteor. Meteor was just hanging out on the point, shooting them in the butt, and making sure that the cap didn't, didn't get any cap percentage out of that. Uh, and with the way the spawns work again on, on um, second point assault, you need to take clean fights quickly. And it took them just a little bit too long outside the spawn to get the kills. But look at this. Completely switch up the look now. This is an entirely different composition. And this is terrifying to see as a player who, who might have to play against this team in the future. Because they're not one-trick ponies. They're not going to just come at you with aggressive nonsense all day, all long. They're going to switch it up and slow things down a little bit here. And see how you can deal with this. Definitely a lot more stabilization coming now. They've got the immortality field from like a Luke to work with and Gutbuster gonna be there to prox and spy healing. Aquatic gonna go down early in this fight. And so Beastie Boys needs to be able to flex this, needs to be able to hold this out. Mito looking for a sneaky flank here. He's got that molten core, could actually pin the whole of Ramberg Fire Department in the back line here. Is being so patient on this, not wanting to drop it. Here comes the Molten Core. You can't go forwards, you can't go backwards. Mito coming through with that Molten Core. That's going to be huge. Goodbye, Randberg Fire Department. If this Without is that the, flame. If, <laughs> that flame. If this is the guy making plays on, on Randberg, I mean, who's going to make plays on the other side but Mito? It has to be him. The man with the Molten Core. You know he's going to find value. If you, know, if you don't know where he is, we're going to check behind you because he's sneaking up behind <laughs> you, the little man with the, the, the lava to spray all over you. So nice work on them. And they've, you know, weathered the storm very effectively in the sense that there's not a lot of out charge on the other side here. Beastie Boy's still with a decent out bank or coming up soon and they keep going with this choke. I, I would almost like to see me to switch to his other hero here, which is the Junkrat. Well, Visions can get up this ultimate and actually pin them in the side there with the self-destruct. This could be big for Rand for Beastie Boys. They be able, might be able to shut this out quickly. And he is going to pick up this ultimate quite quickly, taking a lot of flak from the side and still staying in the front lines, yeah. being able to drop this nice second they need to. That not, no, not ultimate though, and the rest of Beastie Boys decide that they're going to time this offensive forwards and push Randberg Fire Department back. Aquatic having swapped onto that jungle rat to try and push out of that choke, but still Beastie Boys weathers it, and now they're being chased backwards. Randberg Fire Department on the back foot, gonna lose a couple more people, and with only 40 seconds left, Beastie Boys has opened up the, the opportunity. You guys, why? Why did we do it? Why did we switch it up? I just praised them for it, but they look so much better on that other composition. But now they're coming in with ultimate. They've got Dizzy with the Gravitic Flux. They've got Francesco with the Supercharger, and they've got the Randy. This is their time to make something happen, especially if Aquatic can get something big with that tire. They only need to win the map. That's all that matters. So. If they can do that with this big out bank, they'll look pretty intelligent anyways. They're gonna need to. They've gone forward taking out the turrets, but Visions dropping that early ultimate into this fight means that a good chance for Beastie Boys at least to stall out this point. And still Aquatic gonna have to come through big with this tire. Goes tries to go through, takes out not no not. Overtime takes down. Beastie Boys picks up their first map. Yes, altruism. We have something to work with here. I was concerned coming out of Icon Vault. But once again, the third map delivers. Beastie Boys, equalize or not quite equalize. Get one back up in the series here. But I'm still looking Randberg and I'm thinking they look dominant, right? If it wasn't for the heroics of this man right here, uh, Mito, and also this composition switch that they just never got into a good rhythm with, you, you really feel like they could have grinded out that second point very effectively with the um, dive composition that they were running before. So, you know, question marks around that. And, and if Randberg choose to to keep running that aggressive comp that Beastie Boys have shown, they do not know how to deal with. Um, I wonder if we won't see them return to dominant form over the coming maps. Can I have a bit to think about in this next uh, map going forwards? It's going to be interesting. You know, where I saw Beastie Boys come through was they struggled with their alt economy they struggled to, to find value with it and turn that into a one team fight you know especially on that second point they had mm -hmm. six ultimates you you really just had to sit for three seconds and go guys what is the order we're going to drop this they led with the dragon strike which got no value we saw people like repost going through with a primal rage and not really getting a lot of break through the front lines with it still they held it very nicely on the defense the only reason that ramberg fire department was able to get that first point was because of mad plays from dizzy and aquatic being able to come through like we said 2v 2v4 and take a fight with a remake kill that changes <laughs> yeah. of course for everyone it's going to be interesting to see beastie boys 
needs to think of their team composition, what they want to accomplish with it, and then be able to execute it. Guys, we're going to go to a very short break. It's third map here. Uh, 2-1. It's not over yet. Ramberg Fire Department has a lot of work to do if they want to do this. And Beastie Boy is showing that they're not going to give this up. They, they are going to fight this out. And we may actually go all the way up to a Game 7. It's going to be interesting to see. Still a lot to play for in this Grand Finals of the Raving Mad Gamers Last Men Standing Tournament brought to you by PC International. We'll see you just after this quick break.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for an incredibly, what's building up to be actually really great series here between two of the best teams in South Africa here in the Raving Mad Gamers Last Men Standing Finals. Beastie Boys coming back to try and just close that gap a little bit, taking one game here off the two of Ramberg Fire Department. Uh, how are you feeling so far, Sun Phoenix? We got a game? We've got a game. Uh, the scoreline doesn't lie here. Um, I still have the sense that Randberg is in control of proceedings this evening, but BC Boys is showing that they can't be underestimated at least. And you know what? What a nice way for this finals. You know, the first control point was very close. This last map also very close. A little bit more one-sided on Eichenwald. And these two teams are playing, of course, for this grand prize here. It is 4,000 Rand in total up for grabs. The winner takes two and a half. So just 1,000 Rand between these two teams. They're obviously mm -hmm. going to be happy with that money. And that money, of course, brought to you by PC International. Got to give a big shout out to these guys making a tournament like this in South Africa possible. If you guys haven't heard of them before, PC International is a South African-based laptop and PC component seller. And they provide the best quality IT equipment at the very best price. One of the best things about them is that they've got a price match guarantee. So if you find it somewhere else, give them a call. They are going to be there and they really want to help support you and give you the best possible. So if you guys want to check them out, go head over to pcinternational.co.za and I'm sure that you're going to find something that you love for this tournament. Because, I mean, if you love the Overwatch so far, it's been made possible for them. So big shout out to PC International. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to everyone who sponsors esports in this country. Uh, not a ton of money flowing around, so the more that comes in, the better. Absolutely. All right, so back to our game. Beastie Boys showing that they've got some life, certainly showing uh, a little bit better defense than Eichenwald. There's certainly a better idea of what their team needs to do in the compositions, relying heavily on something like a Mito turret um, and being able to play around it with the tanks giving them space, you know, not diving mm -hmm. into the back line or, you know, timing those dives a little bit better on the first point that everyone else just secured themselves around the, the Mito turret in that little back room, giving space yeah. for um, visions and uh repose to go forward hunt hunt down aquatic on the widow maker and then come back and reinforce the team so much better cohesion from beastie boys in that second map what do you think about going into havana now havana is a map we have not seen in a million years altruism the last time i saw this was in overwatch overwatch league like four weeks ago which was the last time i watched overwatch league um so i'm excited to see what teams come out here there's a, there's a lot of opportunities on how you can open things on this map especially do you go for a hyper aggressive defense on that first uh, around that sort of gas station right at the beginning or do you hold back a little bit set up on the high ground on the left or just in the road on the right you got a lot of ways you can play this out and a lot of compositions you can try and make work and for me that's the key here when did beastie boys win temple of anubis when they weren't matching the randberg fire department composition um so i think if they can force that they looked a lot better as well when they weren't matching on nepal as well so it seems to me that like that could be a key for to success here for the Randberg Fire Department, but we're obviously going to have to wait and see exactly what ends up working for them. But to open things up here, they are at least changing things up tank-wise. Yeah, you know, going for a gain, repose and visions on these very mobile tanks, though Winston and Diva have been working quite well for them. Struggling a little bit when they have to mirror it. Um, we've got I'm um, going Hamzo back into this, not on the Brigida this time, going to be going straight from the Mercy from day one. Uh, and so far, it seems like Beastie Boys going to be, sorry, uh, Ramberg Fire Department now on red. Just keep that in mind, guys, that the, the colors have swapped. Going for, again, the static composition, the Reinhardt shield to lead the way, and then some pick DPS from Aquatic and 20 um, to try and just secure the kills as they push forward slightly more slowly. Of course, you're yeah, looking towards the two tanks on Beastie Boys to hook up a little bit better. Um, then it's actually going to make their job slightly harder now because Ryan will be back and in the mix and keeping the supports a little bit healthier in a way that Winston doesn't quite do. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit tougher for the tanks to, to find value here, I think. But we'll see if the two Beastie Boys players can get it done. Hamza back in here, this time on the Mercy. No Brigitte to start it off here, but I imagine we'll see him pick that hero up soon enough. And it's interesting, a lot of space so far given by Beastie Boys. This payload has moved all the way up into this very open area and still the flex from Beastie Boys coming out. Now wanting to jump in a little bit more, but they've lost a lot of damage on these two tanks. Um, squishy again on that uh, 
uh, on the Zen isn't going to be able to support too much, but at least does enough damage, but has to deal with two tanks running at him. So Beastie Boy is going to be in trouble there for a little bit. I'm oh, going Hamzo so being a little bit more aggressive on the Mercy, being able to, to fly past those tanks and support the team, and, and this nice, consistent healing from the Mercy, able to keep the tanks alive from Beastie Boys. And so choosing the right fight and taking it quite cleanly. Not very, very impressive there. It's very easy to get um, lost in the source there and, and panic and try and feel like we've got to do something. They're getting all this, this space. But winning this team fight here kind of resets everything. You can set up on the choke here. And now you see Repost puts the pressure on at the front and then jumps back for healing. And he's actually got healing this time, which must feel nice. Very nice by them, and Beastie Boys having a lot of ultimates from that last fight, decided to drop a couple of them into the beginning of this this uh, second fight. Um, and with Not No Not dropping his ultimate as well, yeah, being able to just push Randberg Fire Department's aggression back a little bit. Uh, Gutbuster going to be dropping that sound barrier to try and stall out the fight, but it's not working. Uh, it is working, sorry, for the Randberg Fire Department. Keeps everyone alive and able to re-engage. Beastie Boy is going to lose all of their players onto this, and so his second attempt makes is the charm as Ramberg Fire Department clean up the first point. Yeah, and the key there was just tracking down the post and getting that kill early. We saw him playing kind of with a uh, patient style of putting a person on the front line and jumping back, but somebody found him there when he jumped back and, and got the hit on him to put him down, and from there Ramberg was able to just push forward. Now, they're fighting into Dizzy here with the self-destruct. Not the world most impact got the ulti on this point, but if anyone can prove that uh, wrong, it's him. Um, but Ramberg working, moving the way forward here. But Renberg Fighter Bobman doesn't have a lot of ultimates to work with. They don't need them though. Dizzy's got a self-destruct. Here comes the <laughs> Uh, honestly, if Matt Dizzy managed to pull that off, it's going to be fantastic. Beastie Boys with a lot more in the, the fuel tank here. Yeah, going to be able to pull this through. Going to start it off with the Dragon Strike through the center. Not really going to be able to get anything. That splits uh, the fight off good quite start. nicely. Repost, though, gets the double kill. Just that isolation coming out from that Dragon Strike means that the tank from Beastie Boys is able to clear through there, clear up this fight, and Ramberg depart uh, Fire Department has to get back, and they've gone all the way outside. Who dropped first there? Was it uh, Condi? Twenty, I think. Okay, well, they, they as soon as that person dropped, he did a 360 and got out of there immediately. <laughs> like, he wasn't messing around. They, they know exactly what their winning positions here uh, are, um, and they know when to stick in fights and when to pull back. So now, Francesco has the Shadow King and so will struggle to find huge value, but the aiming pick here will, will be big for Randberg Fire Department, but that's a bad start. But they have to get in there somehow. They're trying to go up the stairwell on the side, try oh, and get to the high ground. The shadow comes through. It does hit repost and gets the pin as well onto it. And so the monkey in a lot of trouble, but gets all the final <laughs> rage being able to come back into this. Now with the bob into the back line for Rambo Fire Department, tries to make something work there. Repose still with that Primal Rage being able to get so much value here, even around the bob. Beastie Boys not sticking around. That, that Earth Shadow just not picking up enough kills to give Rambo Fire Department an opportunity. I almost wonder if we don't see them switch now. They're sticking on this composition, but I feel like if they just put themselves back in the driver's seat here, control the tempo with their own Winston, it's been working so well for them. I'm not quite sure why they feel like going back to this composition, but we'll see if it works out for them. But this one for me, it's really been centered around Repost. He's been doing an incredible job of finding value on the Winston and not feeding too aggressively. So nice to see him coming alive in the series. Again, another early Dragon Strike comes out from Mito to just try and push Ramberg Fire Department away from these doors. And Ramberg De Fire Department still trying to push through very narrow chokes means that not, no, not through that. Oh, doesn't even need it to take out the charging Reinhardt. And it seems like Ramberg Fire Department chewing through all of their resources just to get into the room. Um, as Beastie Boys does such a good job of just corralling them with the two tanks and holding them and in place. Yeah, very, very good stuff from the Beastie Boys here. As you say, just controlling the choke points and making sure uh, Rando can't get the space to move in. And you look at Connie and feel like the Ryan's not able to do anything here. We saw him trying to charge across to close the distance, but he wasn't able to find any value. Like, like look at this. What's Ryan going to do against these three heroes? <laughs> Literally nothing, right? Unless he can fly. I haven't been following uh, over to that closely, but I'm sure that's not in the game, at least not yet. But yeah, Connie's struggling to find value on this hero. You haven't seen the elevator clips that I have from Twitch recently. <laughs> they are flying around hearts. They do exist, but probably not here. And now we see Mito coming through. This Dragon Strike does find some, and he starts cleaning oh, up the nice. backgrounds. And 
Even the teleport away from Aquatic, not going to be able to get them. Still, Ramberg Fire Department not able to break through. They tried to rely on Dizzy getting through in the front lines, but still, oh, Dizzy no. went down, chewed through all the HP, and there's going to ironically be the last one to die in this fight. Yeah, that uh, nice stagger coming out from the Beastie Boys there, and now the, the tempo of the, of the series has completely changed. Beastie Boys in firm control in Havana so far, especially when it comes to the second point. It really plays to their strengths and the strengths of their composition. 20 though has his ultimate, but they've got the Primal Rage, and, and Riposte has been doing an incredible job finding value on the Winston, and especially with the Primal Rage on Havana so far. And still, Riposte just stands in the doorway. No one can come through. Shut a it. shadow comes through, but what are you going to do against a thousand HP worth of monkey in your face? Still, 20 manages to get a pivotal pick on the Mercy. Riposte can eventually go down in the front lines there. And it is Ramberg Fire Department having an opportunity to come through. They still have a lot of distance to try and cover. Not, no, not holding this off angle with this ultimate means that you can't really chase him too much. Still, uh, Condi going to be breaking away from his team and opens up an opportunity here. Can not, no, not standing in the open. open. He's got an opportunity uh, to get this. Doesn't that? get the clicks. you got to just land one, my friend. That's all it's going <laughs> to take to get this. Now we see the ultimate coming out from not, no, not. Doesn't get uh, anyone out this. And so he's not going to really be able to shut this down. And Rambo Fire Department taking a long time, but finally getting through the refinery. Yeah, all that matters is that you get there in the end, and Randberg do manage to secure that second point. Uh, looking at that one there, again, what's the key? Pass drops early, first to die in that team fight, and his team don't have what it takes to win without him, and that sounds like a flame of them, but obviously, you can't, when your main tank goes down, you're always going to struggle, and it seems to be uh, working out that way for the Beastie Boys. Dizzy, once again with the self-destruct, and look at Randberg Fire Department, three ultis at the ready, in a place where, again, Riposte goes down, that is troubling to see for them. And with no monkey bubble, it means that they, everyone has to run for cover and can start, be chased, start being chased down by the side of Randberg Fire Department, who's doing a good job so far of being able to come through. 20 just staying on the payload. Also, Aquatic going to be dropping a very yeah. late Death Blossom into this fight. Would have really liked that to clean up, but it seems like Randberg Fire Department just wants to keep this pressure on. They want to get around this corner here so they can start pushing around that. And I don't like the Death Blossom. I think he could easily have held it up there, held onto it there and used it here, especially when they're coming out of the choke point of spawn like that. But now, this is where the Reinhardt starts to make a lot of sense. Yeah. You can get a lot of value in this choke, but they're going to have to work through a couple of ultis now on the Boosty Boys. They've been pushed back again. Mito just using that zoning ultimate to come through. Squishy also has got that amplification matrix to put damage in. So Ramberg Fire Department, with no time left on the clock, has to start pushing forwards. They're going to be dropping an amplification matrix of their own. Also going to probably have to drop this immortality field soon. Their players are going very low. And this poop oh coming off there. Goodbye. You wanted to see a flying run hot. There it is. <laughs> going off the map. Even tries to charge back into this. Main tank goes down for Ramberg Fire Department. And the rest of the team going to be shortly to follow. Again, man, this man right here, Riposte, he's making the plays on Havana, and I wonder if he's been making the plays the whole time, but I have a cue ball brain when it comes to noticing these things, so unfortunately I've just been missing it, but he popped up in the kill feed a couple of times, and that caught my attention, and um, he's really been putting the screws to Randberg here on the Winston, and that's what we wanted to see, that's what I wanted to see, I want to see the main tank, and the tanks in general contributing I mean, punishing them. But again, I'm looking at Randberg Ultras and I'm thinking, why are you running this? <laughs> Just run the Winston and the Diva that you dominated them so hard with for so long on both Eichenwalder and Temple of Anubis. Um, yeah, of course. You know, uh, you got like, not, not, not sitting in the background shooting yeah. all the time. And you just... When you've got a, a Diva and a Winston or something like that, you can take a, you can split your doorways. Everyone comes through a different path. These guys jump onto not, no, not. Everyone turns to focus them, and then you can get your DPS. Give Aquatic and Twenty the space that they need to try and contribute to the team fight. Exactly. Um, now the 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 cynic in me says Randberg's trying to make a game out of it here, so they're practicing some of their weaker compositions here against the Beastie Boys. And when when we get to the four four, they're going to work back to that composition and dominate. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't put money on that being the case. I think teams make decisions for reasons, and just because we uh, can't see those reasons doesn't mean they don't exist. Um, and obviously, these players are infinity times better than me, so uh, uh, far be it for me to, to criticize them too much. But now, switching here once again onto the double shield, we saw it work pretty well defensively on the first point of Ark involved, at least for a little bit. But once Beastie Boys turned up the tempo, they managed to punch through. So we'll have to see if we see more of the same here on the banner. 
We do see Beastie Boys instantly coming through with that tempo. They've got visions and repose going straight past those shields and putting in a lot of damage. Sigma shield's gonna go down and the Arisa shield's gonna go quite far behind them. Not no not gets a little bit of pressure onto them, but healed up a nice combo from the supports to be able to keep Here the team alive for now. Um, and again, it's Visions making plays onto the front line. That's a big amount of heal. Both of the heals, in fact, going down for Rambo Fire Department. So this becomes a war of attrition for the rest of BC boys. They can start cleaving through these tanks. And while you've got shields to hide behind, shields have limited health and so do you. You're not getting that back up. Shields buy you time. They buy you a little bit of space, but they're not going to buy you this point as now we're going to have to see Rambo Fire Department try and reset on this point. Shields don't help you stay alive when you've got a D.Va and a Winston in the back line though and that's really what the key was for these two boys. They took a bit of time, identified where Squishy was and they said, ah, oh, got him, got on top of him with both tanks, shut him down very quickly and from there they were able to clean things up. If you lose a single hero on that front defense, uh, you have to start moving back because you cannot hold out against the spawns coming in. Now, working into a couple of ultis here from the Beastie Boys, ultis coming in both directions though, so this could be an explosive one. Repose makes an aggressive play onto the high ground and while Visions cuts off the backside there and again they identify Squishy awesome. early into this fight just instantly into that big play coming out from Ramberg Fire Department also going to be dropping the Barrage and the Gravitic Flux into this trying desperately to hold on to this they do get all the kills that they need to to stall this out but they've invested a lot into this fight not too bad. Only um, three ulties, and I think winning a team fight with three ulties isn't too bad of a trade. When you're working with the Valk still in, and uh, the Bob especially can buy a lot of space. The question for me, I mean, Repost, you can see his plan there. He jumps in, 93%, just doesn't get up to his ulti and gets blown up. So unfortunately, if he got that primal rage off, this fight would be completely different. And speaking of looking different, 20 in the drop here to start things off. And it calls out the big uh, committing of that cooldown of resurrection on this. And the bomb from Visions over the top. The self-destruct is there. Gonna have, Rambo Fire Department going to have to commit that bomb onto the point. Oh. Not, no, not. The double dead eye kill takes out both of the supports. And again, Beastie Boys looking like they did in the first fight. Becomes a cleave through with their two tanks um, into your back line. And Beastie Boys should be able to secure their first point here. Is there going to be a last minute uh, support? Does he doesn't have an ultimate? No, not, not when you have an Arisa as one of your heroes, right? She doesn't want to yeah. waddle into the fight <laughs> late and be like, I'm here, guys. What's happening? Because by then the team is all dead. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, good decision here. You really want to get set up with the squad and, and put up a good defense here on this high ground. We're going to do just that here. And this is where the, the squad starts to thrive, right? Now it's up to Beastie Boys to get up to you, but the dive composition doesn't struggle in the same way that Condi did on the Reinhardt. So... It would be interesting to see if they can manage to do it, but what way did they choose to go? Straight forward is the answer. A uh, little bit of staggering there by that halt from Marisa it means that Repost a little bit later into the fight, but he's managed to get that Primal Rage off in there. And now uh, Rambo Fire Department being battered around on this high ground. Still Repost trying to chase down here um, onto the support, but doesn't have the HP. Just goes too far away from his team. And it's going to have to be up to Visions to try to clear this one out. And Ooh. he's all been isolated there in the background. So both tanks are going to go down for Beastie Boys early into this. And still the uh, support from the DBS and this. Um, the two sports going to be coming through for BC boys. They're looking pretty healthy into this. They want to stick around and keep putting this pressure, but it's Rambo fire on it's starting to turn this around. They're, they're getting some shots into it, and Quadix got his eyes uh, firmly set on Mito. Um, still, Beastie Boys has reinforced by these very mobile tanks, means that they haven't had to go too far. Ooh, Mito again, a throwing a Dragon Strike. That's a great Dragon Strike, in fact. Takes out the, the very immobile um, tank that is Arisa, and your main tank goes down. This could be an opportunity. Beastie Boys not nice. going to stagger out mm -hmm. like um, Rambo Fire Department did, and Visions again just coming through. Bob being dropped to try and stall this out a little bit. But Beastie Boys quite happy so far. Well, I mean, are you? This is like a 48-year fight, um, if I'm, my timing is correct. It's been going on for the lifetime of a rodent here, and it's really, at the end of it all, it comes out the way of random fight department. If you're in defense, you'll take a 100-year fights if you can. A couple of here coming in both directions, so I think that's going to be the key. Alt initiation, and this is going to start it off. Visions does throw it, but a mistimes it with Condi still being able to drop down that shield over the top, keeps them alive. And so 20 now being pressured a little bit more. We do see I'm going Hamza oh, dropping the Valkyrie into this fight. Means that a big chance for Beastie Boys to come through. Vision's going to get DMEC quite quickly by that um, Dead Eye. Mito also going to go down a huge part of their DPS. Still, not, no, not. 
is available to do all the damage that they need to. Going to be able to be make dizzy, so nothing oh, for them. And it's still the that yeah, <laughs> team at Jewel with the, the pistol is going to be coming through there. But still, Beastie Boys staying alive. That nice bit of aggression coming out. Vision straight back into the fight. Chases down everyone in the corners and oh, comes man. back to reinforce the team. Beastie Boys with 60 seconds left on the clock. Is anyone from Ramberg Fire Department going to be able to stall this? Again, you still have an Arissa. Uh, can't get on the ball now, so maybe they will make a go for it. They're going to try for this, but you're still running into so many people. And the Vulking Mercy from Gutbuster are going to get taken down, not able to keep everyone alive. And so Ramberg Fire Department only has a few people. Are they going to try and spin to win and stun this all the way out? Um, when I say stun, I'm talking about McCree, of course, from Not No Not, going to be able to find that. Slow down, aim your shots, and get the kill <laughs> eventually there. Man, have a panic for a second. How dare you tell this man how to aim <laughs> altruism? I've seen your rank and you can't be much better <laughs> aimed than he is. <laughs> uh, but they do clean it up and that looked a lot better from them. And again, it's coming down to the tanks. We've seen Visions. He gets a bit of space to work with. He's a flanking DPS all by himself, tracking down the heroes he needs to. That, that, this man is one of the smartest men in South African Dota. Dota? Wow. Uh, Freudian yeah. slip. South African Overwatch. Uh, to give him the space to work with, he knows exactly what targets he wants to work down. Condi dropping first year, and again, tank advantage goes the way of Beastie Boys. We do see Aquatic sitting nice and high on this ground, safe for now, but as soon as Visions and Repose manage to close that distance and start getting Taking on top of them, down. life could be difficult. Um, no, no, not going to be able to oh, be back there, and the double bomb over the top. Visions being able to clear this into the back line again, like a Luke going to go down into this fight, and so it is going to be Beastie Boys looking to push forward. Now we see Repose tracking down Aquatic on that... Uh, Poor dead Widowmaker. Um, it is going to be Beastie Boys pushing all the way forward. Remember, they don't have to get this all the way to the end. Aquatic, are you going to be... Sorry, 20 on the Tracer. Are you going to be able to do okay. too much? Not enough. Beastie Boys level up the series. Man, I really wish Rambo would play Winston. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking to myself. I keep thinking... If I was this this team, I'd be like, just play Condi, just play Winston, dog. When you're on Winston, we look unstoppable, and when you're in anything else, uh, the series is pretty even, and that's very promising for the Beastie Boys, right? I I felt like there was a gulf after after I can I felt like there was a gulf developing between these two teams when it came to to their skill, their ability to execute, communicate, and coordinate. But after seeing these maps, it's clear to me that Beastie Boys has what it takes. It's just a question of can they shut down the P1 composition coming out of Randburg. And by P1, I mean position one. Um, composition coming out of Randburg. If they run that Winston and they put Dizzy on that Diva and they play that composition, can Beastie Boys deal with that? That question still remains. Because, you know, Beastie Boys, it's 100% that. Beastie Boys was identifying key targets. They did it in the first point where they were able to take out Squishy at the beginning. They are able to get onto the back line, onto the sports, even onto Aquatic and 20, yeah. who don't have the HP to survive a D.Va and a Winston diving at you. You're not able to outheal it. You're diving past the shields, and they're able to then take apart the lineup from the Ramberg Fire Department mm -hmm. at your own pace. Exactly. Once you start swapping... Um, Condi and Dizzy onto something that can counter dive or something that can match their dives, you then can now contest it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. At this stage, they're not doing it. And so two maps is a long time to, to start figuring that out. Have they learned it yes, just yet? Uh, the question is whether they ever unlearned it. Because these guys are, are smart, right? Randberg is, is a, uh, you know... On an individual level, some of the smartest Overwatch players in the country. All of these players, in the, we talk about mechanics, and sometimes we use that as a, a placeholder for skill, which is a bit of a vague term, which is why we don't like to use it so much. But when I say skilled, I mean, you know, the Venn diagram or the star diagram of intelligence and mechanics and aim and all of those things. These guys are maxed out on all of those stats, you know, for the most part. Um, and that's why they're able to, with relatively little practice, um, beat all these teams that are working, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten hours a week of practices to to get on their level. And that, for me, means that you just you don't just not. If I if my stupid smooth brain can recognize something, they, you know that they are capable of it as yeah. well. And so the question becomes, what is superseding that? Um, in their heads what is making them think this comp is going to be better here um, because there must be something they're too smart to be like 
no, that comp is was bad and wasn't working. It's like, it obviously wasn't. You can recognize that. I can recognize that. They know that with 100% certainty. So the question is, when do they switch that on again? When do they go back and say, right, let's go back to what, why, why are we losing? What were we doing? Let's go back to what we were doing when we were winning. Oh, it, it's it's got to be running through their minds. And I hope to see um, some... Either they need to swap off their team composition because they recognize it's not working or they need to recognize why it's not working and yeah. then change something up. You know, we did see that in the beginning when on the, the first point on Nepal, when they were still running that very close range comp, mm -hmm. they realized, OK, they, they're running a longer range comp. So we need to get on top of them and then take it out. Mm -hmm. Maybe here they're just struggling with that get on top of them step of the plan and be able to execute that perfectly because let's be fair you get a Reinhardt into the middle of a team your, your Winston and your Diva are not going to be able to defense Matrix or bubble up a gigantic yeah. swinging hammer so that's where the Reinhardt starts to shine when where, where that that uh, that difference is is they need to start going through then whenever they get stalled out in chokes that's kind of separating them off we are going back yeah. to a control point now Legion Tower means that there are no chokes. No, not really. You know, um, once well, you you're on the like, point, you say that, and then you look the at point, the first map we go to here. On the point, there's no chokes. <laughs> when you're actually controlling the point or fighting it out in that first brawl, when the mm. two teams clash on the point, then you're not worried about the chokes. You're not worried about necessarily sure. getting on top of them as much as possible, especially something control like control center. There mm -hmm. is a lot more opportunity for that Reinhardt once you're in that space or controlling yeah. that space then the Reinhardt makes a lot of sense, like you yeah, talk about. And absolutely. then I, I definitely think that Randberg Fire Department is running the right composition and will be able to make it work. That's true. Um, but my, my question mark is not necessarily about what Randberg's capabilities are on the map or in, in map-specific or geography-specific situations. It's, it's more about the fact that they ran not Winston for that whole map. Many of the places where not Winston um, should excel and yet they were fairly soundly dominated by the Beastie Boys. So for me, it's not so much an issue of running that comp where it works. They didn't change how they're running it or change the comp, which is obviously what I've been advocating for fairly strongly now, if you guys <laughs> haven't picked up on that. Um, but yeah, Control Center, I love the Junkrat from each team here. That for me is going to be a key here, but it's again about tanks. How do you manage your shields? How do you keep your team alive? Ooh. And that was not on the tanks, that was all not on the knock. <laughs> yeah, that's big pack picks coming out from Aquatic in the beginning of this fight, and that's going to make it very difficult for Beastie Boys to come back into this, especially now considering 20 on that Sombra, uh, sorry, on the Symmetra, is going to be able to start, start solidifying up this position. Mito still in quite an aggressive position, uh, at least able to clear out those turrets, um, finds the second one as he starts running towards the point. But Ramberg to Fire Department has picked up this first control point um, and are going to be able to now stagger this out a little bit more, play around the positions that they want to and use this Reinhardt shield to swing forwards. They clash the shield straight away and now we see Condi being able to cleave through the back lines and Beastie Boy is taking a lot of damage. Aquatic has gone down early into the fight, not, no, not being able to get a little bit of vengeance for that early pick in the previous one, gets some side up, and Ramberg Fire Department already oh, dropping this wow. down. Mito gonna be the, the big playmaker, though, um, on that Junkrat, gonna be coming through here. Still, mm -hmm. Ramberg Fire Department stays alive, using that Earth Shatter from uh, Condi to be able to turn some points there. Beastie Boy is sticking around for long enough, though, that they will still want to carry on this fight. Mito coming back through with a tire of his own. Ramberg Fire Department gonna be dropping a very late uh, sound barrier into this fight. Mito going to be trying to use that tire, but only gets the one kill. And still, Beastie Boy is not able to get control of this point. They've given up nearly 50%. In fact, there it ticks over and still not wanting to really regroup that much. Yeah, the, this is where your discipline needs to come in and say, we can't just keep doing this until 99%. We will lose or we will be in a worse position here. Randberg are happy to draw this out since they have control of the point. But yeah, Beastie Boy is just a little bit of discipline here. Now, Aquatic has this ultimate. I think Randberg. Well, Beastie Boys rather are uh, going to be feel fairly comfortable shutting it down, but anything can happen with the Riptide. That's if you spot it. And oh, taking out Vision is deciding to prioritize as he tries to get back into the mech. And so Ramberg Fire Department has the man advantage going into this fight. And Beastie Boys finally just realizing they need to step back, but it's too late. Ramberg Fire Department is pushing forwards and they're getting the kills that they need to. Now we start hearing those ticks 
come up from that percentage up to 90 percent and a little bit too little too late for beastie boys are they going to be able to come back the long range earth shadow very optimistic to try to get into this now has to go into an earth shadow on the other side 98 percent someone finally does manage to touch it is going to be a vision oh, that charge comes through goodbye repost goodbye vision's going to be coming through big shadow to finish this off randberg fire department handily take this 99 or 100 percent to zero and that for me the key there was control center right so often we see this map if you get control of that opening choke it's so tough to come through again and randwick did an excellent job of bending not breaking of of getting back away from the choke when they're under pressure and just drawing that team fight out getting picks and pushing forward again to the choke once they've got it all under control we saw a past Never had an opportunity to get a big ulti off there, find any value with that Earth Shatter. And a number of players there kind of trading ultis this way and that. We saw um, them trading sound barriers and, and tires and all of those things. And that's always going to favor the defensive team, especially when the supports are of the caliber of these. Looking on the other side, though, I do see 20 on the Sombra. I'm not a huge fan of this hero outside of specific situations. Um, but... I think he's counterpicking Visions on the ball, but Visions has not playing ball. He's actually going to go for the Diva here, so I think a little bit of a, a mental win there for BC Boys. you got to be happy that Condi has decided to go for this Winston comp now. Oh, in yes. this Going to go down very low in this first fight. Going to get healed back up, though, thankfully for him. And 20 is still trying to get a hack target there. Tries to go for a post, but gets um, disrupted from his hack target. And so still not comp contributing a huge amount to this fight so far means that his team is playing a man down still. Randberg Fire Department doing well, doing very well. In fact, it is going to be Dizzy Show coming through here. Finally, Beastie Boys are going to be taking a back foot and still hanging around. It's going to be Randberg Fire Department um, taking control of this point in the game. They just want to stall this out for as long as possible. Now we see the power, Altruism. Now we see what the real game is here. <laughs> can can Randberg Fire Department bring Condi in on this Winston to just clean up uh, the Beastie Boys with their incredible synergy between Dizzy and, and um, uh, uh, Condi here. Can they do it? But 20 on the on the Sombra is a bit of a mix-up here. You know, they won't quite have the damage they might be expecting. And that might be a little bit of, of a problem for them, but so far so good for Randberg. Oh yeah, and when you're dropping a Coalescence oh, into man. a narrow choke like that, that's going to be it for the team fight. And I saw the best meme today and it was, you're going to be dropping Coalescence to heal the team, right? Right? <laughs> you heal the team, right? Nope, oh. not in this case. No, absolutely not. And I mean, you look who's playing the Moira as well. You know that that dude, he wants to get some kills. He wants to get his name up in the kill feed. And he's used to doing that in the past. So, unsurprising, but I mean, that's good execution, right? Pop the Coalitions to get hyper-aggressive. They know exactly how to play this composition. They know its strengths, they know its weaknesses, and they're not afraid to, to make BC boys uh, look a bit uncomfortable. Oh, and now Dizzy going to drop that bomb into the background. Still, there's a counter bomb coming out the other way, but Dizzy's bomb has done the work as soon as they need to. Dizzy consistently reliable with that. Just a bomb into the back line, and it was into the sound barrier as well from Randberg Fire Department. They had every tool that they needed to win that fight team. Uh, Gakwasta just hopping off the map there, trying to make it an even fight. Uh, did he, he started off with the sound barrier of his own, right? And that kind of allowed yeah. him to get aggressive and push forward. So I really, really like the tempo that a random fire department keep when they play this comp and now vision just moved on to the Orisa over the monkey. I've never seen this before. What is happening? Uh, you try different things at this stage and now we see not no not trying to go there. Aquatic though just goes straight past that ultimate attempt um, and pops his own death blossom to clean out this fight. Now Beastie Boys in overtime have to try and make something work. They got a Lucio on the point, but that's oh, not gonna stand out for long. Ramburg Fire Department again take a control point, two and oh. I mean, they, they've been dominant on these control point maps, altruism, and, and I think it really comes down to controlling the tempo, right? That's the name of the yeah. game here for me. When Riposte is able to do it on his own Winston, these two boys look really, really strong, and they're able to push Randberg back and, and control the pace of the game. But when the tempo has been controlled by Condi, be it on this Ryan right here, what a shadow, oh my goodness. Oh. Or whether it's on his, his trusty Winston, uh you know he can just carry his team to a victory here 20 on the sombra was an interesting little look I, I quite like the idea of having that in your pool that you know the opposition has to be aware of um and it didn't hurt them at all but again i'm just i'm just focused i 
it's funny when we think I'll just back to the, the beginning of this this um, broadcast two hours ago um, and how we were focus, so focused on the DPSs and now we've completely forgotten about them. It really <laughs> is all about the tanks. Yeah, no, the, the tank is being the main part. It's both in terms of what they're able to accomplish in terms of getting onto key targets, being able to take them down, or what they're not able to accomplish and being able to push through chokes, secure some space for their, their team to push through. Both of those are so pivotal in this, and it is making the biggest difference. Obviously, on a control point, the tanks came through for Ramberg Fire Department, yeah. exactly what they wanted to. We are going to be going through back to a hybrid map. This is, of course, map, game, and tournament point for Randberg Fire Department. They won the first hybrid. That was Eichenwald. We're going to be going through to Nambani for the second one. Again, no King's Row, but those Beastie Boys have a chance to bring it to a Game 7. Well, my concern here, Alt, is that uh, if we pretend that the series started now, we have an exact replica of how the series started the last time, right? We went to a control map and we had a strong, strong performance from Randberg. Much more dominant the second time round than on Nepal, but still coming out with a 2-0 victory on um, the control map. They moved on to a hybrid map and what did we see there? Total domination coming out of Randberg that time around. Relying on the same composition that just won them, Li Jang Tower. So, you know, I'm quaking in my boots a little bit here on behalf of the Beastie Boys because Randberg looked untouchable on um, on the hybrid map the last time. And I can vault in Numbani while not the same, are both the same archetype, of course, but they were able to rely on, on the Farrow to open things up. And while I don't think that was a huge part of, of the play, I think thinking about the layout of that opening map, uh, of the opening point on Numbani, I lean much more towards the Beastie Boys and, and their style of play. They can set up a slower style, they can they can set up the Torbjorn, obviously, from Mito, and look to put the pressure on and shut down the tanks as they come in. And, and as we've now mentioned at, at Infinitum here, that the tanks are really the key to this this whole shebang. No, of course. And, you know, Beastie Boys, the one thing that you've got to give them credit for, even if they lose this series, is they have had moments of very smart play, being able yeah. to avoid fights that they don't want to take. And Nambani is one of the best points for that. I mean, that the fact that you've got a high ground all the way around that point means you can stand in a position on defense or on attack where you approach from an angle that you're interested in. You yeah. can hold a high ground advantage against your opponents and be able to utilize it. Are they going to be able to bring it through, especially on an attack? On defense, they've got the advantage of having something like Mito on the Torbjorn. But are they going to be able to do it on attack? That's going to probably make the difference for them. However, if Randberg Fire Department go, we're very good when we're playing from a position that we're comfortable in, mm -hmm. like the Eichenwald high ground that they use to such effectiveness, Yeah. True. then is there going to even be an attempt from Beastie Boys to be able to penetrate into that? Yeah, that, that is going to be the question. Yeah, I think lots of strengths potentially for both teams on this map because as much as you can get away with the more slower composition, a fast composition on defense is so hard to push through. If they're able to find the picks they're looking for, identify targets and take them down, you're going to have a tough, tough time finding value and trying to dive back up. It's always much harder to go in that direction than it is to just drop down, put the pressure on, have your cooldowns to get out if you need to. So that's, we're going to have to wait and see here. Begin the compositions though, altruism, matching on the tanks. Question marks for me, these boys don't have a choice. Um, on attack, you, you really limit it on Numbani and what you could get away with. And I think you, you always want to put yourself in a position where you can um, be aggressive onto the opponent's high ground. Um, but on the defense, it's so much better for them. They can set 20 up. I'm interested he goes with the soldier here. That obviously allows him to be a little bit more independent um, when compared to the McCree. Uh, and they're going to put a look on, on a two heroes that can, can take such good value from that high ground. On the other side, Mito and Notna are not going to be on the Hanzo and McCree respectively. It's going to allow them to get onto high ground. Notna not going to have the toughest time here, I think. Getting up there and putting on pressure. Oh, yeah. I, I like the fact that Ramberg Fire Department has gone for this combo of 20 and like a loop together because between the biotic field and that amplified healing from the grenade, you can really stand with just the two of them and it makes it very difficult for opposed and visions to get yeah, on top true, of you. True. Um, so that, that key target that Beastie Boys is looking for, 
makes it very difficult to pick off just those two sitting together. 20 yeah, though, Mito go. coming through as the critical pick here means that there's an opening for BC boys. They can run onto this first ground. Now Mito gonna be looking maybe for the high ground instead decides to turn around. Run, it is gonna be Condi gonna go down. BC boys is using every opportunity that they've got. They've found openings and Mito just making sure Aquatic can't get back into this fight. Turns around, starts putting more damage. Gutbuster gets a boop on a Winston off Ooh. the map of Nambani. Interesting way to do it. Oh, the shot. No, no, no. And Mito both going to be able to pick up kills at almost the exact same time. Mito doing it with a sonic arrow in the air onto <laughs> that. So Aquatic, the last person left alive. Beastie Boys got the first pick and made no problems from it after that. And did Mito look at any point like he was under any kind of pressure there? He was nope. playing PvE there on the side, <laughs> shooting at whatever he wanted to, because his tanks were making oodles and oodles of space. So... Credit, obviously, to Mito for finding that opening pick. You know, a lot of the analysis flies out the window when you get a tree trunk in your dome, but he, he followed it up with some good shots and was benefiting from the, the space visions and repass made for him. Looking at uh, going forward, though, Ultimate's Sombra? favoring the Beastie Boys quite a lot. Yes, Sombra from 20. He's feeling something about this hero, and I think he wants to counter out the tanks when they come in, and it makes a lot of sense, but it's not working just yet. Oh, Mito has been throwing out these um, optimistic dragon strikes the whole time. This time picks up like a loop, obviously just timing that so that there's no fade there. And look at Dizzy's positioning all the way back here, just realizing there's no time to even get into the fight. And Sombra is not going to be able to do anything. Gets up half a look towards the ultimate, but Beastie Boys hasn't slowed their momentum at all. But they're running Aquatic on the Echo, also. And what is this? I've never seen Aquatic play this hero before in my life. So I'm just to see how much value we can get. I, if he's been on it the whole time, uh, it's a slow outshot. But I yeah. think it's just quite late. Now he's got this. If he can get, he can just turn into somebody. Okay, now he goes for the Diva here in time to put the pressure on. All right, the Diva, the Diva has been quite pivotal in both of them so far. 20 finally manages to get a kill as well, taking out Riposte. And there goes the main tank from Beastie Boys. Still a uh, Ramberg Fire Department, gotta be able to find stuff. They've been able to push Beastie Boys all the way back, Ramberg Fire Department stabilizing nicely, but they're gonna have a lot to deal with in this next fight. They are indeed, and, and but they're fighting to an EMP here, all the Beastie Boys, and you know that that's the trump card that you can always rely on here with good execution, and Ramberg have shown incredible execution, so this is gonna be a tough one. Might be a question of baiting out the EMP, losing the fight, and looking to take the next one. But let's see what the Beastie Boys want to do here with this man right here. Eyes on 20. There we go. You see the EMP bomb oh, combo coming combo. out. Perfectly executed. That's one of the classic combos. Really nice play from Ramberg Fire Department to shut that down quickly. Uh, Beastie Boys didn't dedicate anything there, so it may have just been the bait that you were talking about previously. Uh, now, at least Visions has an opportunity. They're not going to be trickled out too long. Going to be running for that cliff and taken down. Ramberg Fire Department cleaned up that fight, but still a bit of time left for Beastie Boys to make something happen now with four ultimates in the bag. Yeah, Beastie Boys totally fine with that. They're like, okay, cool. Uh, we baited EMP, we got bomb out. Now we can come in with all our ulties and clean things up. Hopefully, nice and easily. But they still have a primal rage, and that could be a very critical ulti. You want to slow things down. Uh, and here, Francisco going to go into the background straight away with that, but they've lost so many already. Oh, that's going to be big. Um, still two turnaround kills, and the remake oh. kill comes up to like a look. You do not see that very often onto a Moira. So Beastie Boys still going to be quite happy in this fight. They managed to take out four people from Ramberg Fire Department. So it's still going to be them pushing forward. You've got Mito on the point. You're going to be chasing down. Yeah, poor Dizzy looking to get that remake. Almost trying to get a remake kill there. And still, Beastie Boys, this should clear it out. So they still get Francesco with that um, Primal Rage that you're talking about. It is something you have to take into consideration. 20 nearly built up to this ultimate. Not, no, not. Coming from the side, he gets the kill. Oh, That's it. a great timing on that. And eventually oh, oh, takes that out as well. Doesn't even need the flashbang <laughs> Yeah, 20, don't drop that ultimate. There's no one around you to try and help you Throw out there. Throw it, coward. Throw it out there. See what <laughs> happens. No, don't do it. Okay, we should always grind that one out. It looked a bit difficult to start with after Francesco went in. They lost a couple of players quickly on the side of Beastie Boys, but they managed to grind it out and get a very effective cleanup. Once again now, fighting into EMP and the duplicate, so they could, in theory, go for another duplicate bomb combo if Aquatic could get it down, but looks like they're going to go to the EMP. And they've got them in such a good position. Beastie Boys caught out in that archway means that there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You're just going to get picked off one by one. And um, Rambic Fire Department, very heads up play, doesn't actually need to drop the, replic the duplicate there. They go in, they take out the kills that they need to, and Beastie Boys 
just going to have to take that as, right, that's an EMP. We got two fights to make it work until that comes back up. The difference with that one, though, was that there was no big ulti that sapped up a bunch of ult charge. So they got quite a bit of ult charge out of cleaning up the heroes on the side of Brandberg Fire Department. Now they've got the bomb. They kept the duplicate, and they're coming into both support ulti. So this is not going to be an easy fight coming into this. They might look to the heroes of Mita once again to get a big pick or two to help them force their way through this chokehold. Oh yeah, those Mito picks are pivotal at the beginning. Not, no, not interestingly enough, has swapped onto the Reaper, obviously just realizing that this diving monkey onto the front of them. Still Aquatic going to be coming through, duplicating up that Diva Bomb. Oh God, um, so they have bombs. to survive the first Diva Bomb from Dizzy coming through here, and there's going to be one shortly afterwards from Aquatic. Here's Aquatic, has got up one, and now going to be throwing it into this archway. There's nowhere to run, oh. goodbye. Even <laughs> tries for the remake kill on that, and so... Ramberg Fire Department cleans up the second fight here and 20 nearly up to that next ultimate. Still a small window for Beastie Boys in this next fight before that comes back up. Ah, but if 20 goes and stands out the spawn and just pings them in the head <laughs> as they're coming out, uh, he'll get up to his ult pretty good. And look what I'm saying, right? 93% already? He's going to have a combo next though. Fight. You don't need to, they can just clean up with good initiation. We saw him do it last fight, right? So. Oh, no, he goes down! Not like that! Not like that, you can't! Obviously, Twenty uh, is going to be able to reinforce this fight. It's going to be up to Francesco to try and stall this out, but he's going to go down even with the Primal Rage, and Beastie Boy is going to be coming through. That's the power of No No Not, and the huge ultimate bank goes oh, towards him as well. Aquatic also going to go down in this fight. It's going to have to be a big EMP from Twenty to try to turn this around as Beastie Boy approaches this final point. No, no, not near that ultimate. Squishy's got that amplification. I'm going Hamzo finally gets a chance to use the Brigida in a place mm. that could work. Here comes the ultimate. The EMP is out from Rambo Fire Department. Uh, hits everyone and they just managed to get up Squishy on that one. Still, Condi going to go down and no, no, not having built up this ultimate is going to try and chew down through Dizzy. If he can get rid of that uh, defense matrix, it gives some space. And still, it's going to be Beastie Boys pushing forwards. They're getting so much damage into everyone. They're fleeing for their lives. Rambo Fire Department yeah, flying, and there goes your Death Blossom on the point. Tears up so much space. It gets it inches away from the end there. 1.87 meters into it. Even takes out Dizzy. And now it's up to Ramberg Fire Department. Can they stabilize? Can they reinforce this point fast enough? Beastie Boy still looking nice and healthy. And with this amplification matrix from Squishy, he becomes a main DPS player, able to hold it out. It is overtime, of oh course. So this goodness. is going to be Visions. When did Vision swap onto the Graviton? The... The Graviton Surge? No, you're right. It feels that way. When did you swap onto a Graviton Surge? Because, I mean, I wasn't playing that close attention to the uh, hero bar at the top, but. That was a quick, quick charge of the grabs to close things out. But uh, very, very impressive stuff from the Beastie Boys there. And critically for me, they matched that Winston composition and won the game, uh, won the pushes they needed to. And that, that for me, might represent a turning point in this series. Now, I will admit, they were fighting into 20 on the Sombra, which li limits your DPS. You know, you're trading raw DPS for a team fight win every 60 seconds or whatever but um it does mean that that francesco wasn't or, or condi wasn't able to get aggressive in the same way control the tempo in the same way because he didn't quite have the damage back up that he might be used to so yeah that is something to keep in mind but beastie boys took took condi down when he came in and punished him and pushed back repost able to control the tempo a lot better in the face of the opposing monkey than we've seen him do before so this is a very, very, very good sign for the Beastie Boys. And 20 going to reprise his role here on the Sombra. I don't think he was the problem, but I think Randberg might need to just change up their play just a tiny bit to fit with the slightly lower damage output that comes out of him. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that EMP won every fight that it went into. Exactly. There's no doubt about that. And so 20 did the job. It's up to the rest of the team now to be able to win the intermediate fights between those EMPs. And they weren't able to. And that was great heads-up play from BC Boys. We have praised their intelligent playmaking decisions yes. and their timing of attacks. And so being able to, to shut down the rest of the fight was good. Of course, Mito being able to get picks um, when they need to to open up fights gives him another opening opportunity. And so uh, slightly slow a play coming out now from Ramberg Fire Department. They're going to try to take control of this high ground and still BC Boys avoiding them on the outside. Mito, weirdly enough, not on that top that we talked about. There's a, a heads up play um, from mm. them. We didn't manage to call that. But still, Beastie Boys holding nice and firmly on this high ground. And still, while Ramberg Fire Department throws waves onto that high ground, 
the rest of Beastie Boys just avoids them. They're not going to be pushing into them. They're not going to give that space to the Winston to go. be able to use that type to the coil. Um, and now we see Beastie Boys start turning in the pressure. You can only make so many dives, Condi, until eventually someone's going to chew true through you. And Beastie Boys holds the point. And still, it's just a poke battle from Ramberg Fire Department. Yeah, and then the Hanzo here makes a ton of sense from Mito, right? You said not running the Torben here, and I'm sure you can figure out why as well. It's because the Hanzo can just rip the tank down so easily, but also get a random pick uh, to, to clean up the team fight. You know, the Torben is nice for consistent damage, but the Hanzo gives him a little playmaker potential here as Francesco gets hyper aggressive here, and finally Rambo going to get something done. Yeah, that nano boost was the go signal for them, and using it comboed with that Dizzy. Um, the two of them have been playing so well together so far. Um, still being able to pick up a couple of kills, and the EMP ready online if they need it. But um, here, in fact, okay, it is going to go nice. down. It's going to try and clean up the rest of this point. Rampburg Fire Department desperately want to make this work now. Still, the, the combo of the tank He's and the support is together. Crazy. 20, you talked about the low damage output that typically comes from a Sombo, but when you can still one clip the Mercy in the air like that, you're doing enough. Not, no, not, still sticking around, isn't able to get on, and Ramburg Fire Department, with lots of alts in the bank, still able to pull onto that first point. Nice start from them. His tracking is crazy, actually. Bad. I'm a little bit in awe of 20's <laughs> um, tracking, because uh, I feel it's like hard to watch. It's so good. It makes you feel super bad about everything <laughs> you've ever accomplished in your own life. But um, he, he's really an incredible player. I mean, look at this. There we go. Get out of here, boy. I've got things to do. And now he can just kind of clean things up. So, yeah, no, this, this Sombra paying off dividends. How are you feeling about Aquatic's uh, echo there? We talked about it previously as the two teams engage. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the future as we do see mm. um, Randberg. Still, Beastie Boys holding around the corner. I think it's fine. I, I think it's working okay for them. And, and again, you know, I spoke about 20 lower damage output. If you're not good at Echo when compared to the other heroes, it can also be lower damage output. But he's been building out these very effectively. This is not. Whoa! Oh. Who even cares, Alpha? Who cares? Who cares? You don't need a DPS. Dizzy's going to do all the work. Picks up a 4K into this fight. And even with poor Aquatic, let's duplicate onto the Brigitte. Not needed. Nope, that's an ulti wasted, but he didn't know that at the time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the 3k from Dizzy. Um, I think he's doing a good job holding up ultis quickly, and that tells me he's doing a lot of damage. So that's very helpful. He's not dying first, he's not getting caught out. That's really all you need out of an Echo is, is decent, consistent damage, good usage of the ultimate, and uh, uh, consistent play like that. Now Beastie Boy is suddenly in a very dangerous position. We see the EMP comes out. This could be the beginning of the fight. And so Gutbuster decides to dedicate towards it as well. Drops the sound barrier. Still Beastie Boy is staying alive through this. Means that they're able to hold out this point. And Ramberg Fire Department throwing a lot into this fight. But not really getting anything out. Visions has gone on to that uh, Zarya again. And backed up by not no not damage output on that... Um, wonderful reaper is able to cleave through even onto aquatic ramberg fire department not going to be able to push through on this one yeah and vision sir i like the switch to the zari here it allows him to have the pressure on dizzy especially and the other tank zari is an underrated tank buster actually i think something we don't think about yeah. when we think of the hero and visions is, is not too bad of a tracker in his own right uh, former teammate of 20 as it turns out but visions is former teammate of a lot of people <laughs> especially at the tippy top of the scene so uh, not too surprising, but yeah, I like the switch and look at the alt charge 70% already up on that not or not now the death pal uh, but death blossom This might be a really really tough fight for fire around the fire department to take and I hope they slow it down here And don't throw any ultis of their own away and I like this positioning coming out from DC Boys in the beginning. Take that high ground, force Ramberg Fire Department to come in from below. And not, no, not, not able to push forward and use that just yet. Reverse to clean up Condi on the front line. Now going to be looking for that flank around the outside. The EMP Ooh, drop by okay. Ramberg Fire Department. That's a, quite a desperate ultimate. And it might not get too much value out of here. No, not, no, not going to be coming through with that death boss. <laughs> there. And the bomb coming through from Dizzy. That's an interesting choice into a lost fight. Mito was saying his prayers away because he had no idea what side of the shield. That bomb was on, but thankfully it was inside the bubble repost coming in the clutch there. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I said the ultis were going to be key there. I hope Randberg don't throw anything in the bin, and they threw like five ultis in the bin there. So now they're coming into this next fight with not a lot to work with. They're going to have to spend some time building it up if they can't rely on their execution in the neutral to win them the team fight. And they're fighting to a graviton surge here, so it's going to be a tough one for Randberg. 
And we do see Oops. there, um, we do see Twenty having swapped off the Sombra onto the Reaper. Going to try and make something happen in the back line here. But they've already lost Aquatic. So that's half the DPS from Rambook Fire Department. And you can see the psychological effect that has on the rest of the team. They're out. They don't want to put anything else into this. They managed to pull out three ultimates from the side of Beastie Boys. And I think they're going to be happy with that trade. But they're starting to run out of time. And they still have to worry about this big Graviton Surge. Vision's looking to set up now. Um, that Adaptive Circuits Aquatic going to be going on to the Winston. And so going to be looking for a Primal Rage. And that double Destiny Ooh. Coil on the front line. Uh, sorry, Ooh, the single Grav. Destiny Coil. Grav's uh, used eventually to try and shut him down and stop him running forwards. But Beastie Boys has lost a lot of people so far. It is going to be Repose trying to stall out this payload for a little bit of time. 20 making good use of the Reaper as well. And so... There's still a chance for Beastie Boys to to reinforce here, but they're going to have to do it quickly and for not too much time, thankfully. Yes, but they have to get it at least under a minute here, otherwise they can't win the map anymore. So that's going to be the win condition for them. Get on quickly, stall it out, make sure it doesn't get to uh, get capped with a minute more left in the clock. But that's a bad, bad start. You want your ball in the mix here. Francesco, oh. why are you getting a double here? Oh, that is not how Beastie Boys wanted this to go. A minute, a minute. There yes, under a minute is good enough for them so far. They can still win this. We do see that Desperate Death Whoa! Blossom. In fact, Desperate is maybe not the right word. Picks up two kills and so opens up an opportunity. Is someone else at least able to get oh. back? No, the Doomfist doesn't make the touch. And Beastie Boys is going to at least tie it out here. But they got it under a minute. Yeah, and 48 seconds is, a, is, is not enough under a minute to feel comfortable so a minute 40 FJ 48 that's at least another team fight uh if Beastie Boy, if, if Ramberg execute properly so that, that's you you kind of wish you were a little bit more even footing but Beastie Boy is not going to be too unhappy with that as you say I think the key there was was out usage and execution for so long Beastie Boys were, were dominant on that third point with their alt rotation and the execution. But the duplicate from Aquatic comes out, and we've been speaking about how key, uh, critical main tanks are. So Aquatic's like, well, why don't I just make two main tanks? And then he comes out, he gets a couple of opening picks there, uh, and from there, the, uh, Beastie Boys just can't do anything to hold back the tide that is around the fire department. So unfortunately for the Beastie Boys there, they've got their work cut out for them. Um, on this attack, only a minute on one of the hardest points to attack in Overwatch, in my opinion. Um, we're going to have to wait and see how they can execute. They're just going to run what they ran the first time around, and I really I don't have any complaints about that. Yeah, they relied heavily on Mito getting an early pick on that first attack, and he's going to have to do something here. I do like Aquatic's mindset, though. They were going, we don't, we can't figure out, are we going to run the Rhine? Are we going to run the Winston? Let's run both at the same time. <laughs> oh, we got this. Um, yeah. Now Beastie Boys obviously going to have to do something here. Um, early picks from something like an Aquatic Sticky Bombs could be very, very detrimental. And when you get Condi to follow up, on that Winston with the, the coordination of Dizzy that they're so well known for. It's going to be interesting to see if there is any space here for Beastie Boys. Ooh. There goes the Sticky Bombs. Mito nearly goes down. Healed up very quickly though by I'm going Hamzo, not going for the Begida. Very good call here. The Mercy going to be very important here. Still, the pokes come out from both sides. Ooh, that, was Ooh, that, was that could have cost your entire team right there as he comes out with a sliver of HP managing to come back. And now comes the dive. Hey, there he goes. There he goes. goes. He's got Gus, but this time Aquatic also going to fall. Yeah, and there goes there. triple four kills down for the side of Ramberg Fire Department. They're not going to be able to hold this. It is going to be Beastie Boys being able to at least pick up this first point. And with a minute on the clock, they're going to be happy that they've done at least that. Absolutely. If you can cap this first point, you can push pretty far in control because you've now got the alt advantage, you've got the tempo. One fight can turn into two very quickly if you're not careful on the defensive side. So it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for Amber. They're gonna have to come in now. Twenty's back on the Sombra. I hate I don't like this hero when you're in this kind of a situation because you can't really rely on yourself to build up an EMP that quickly. Um, but we're gonna have to see if he can do it. Hamzo has the Valkyrie, and that could be key to helping the rest of the Beastie Boys build up towards an ultimate. And that's how things can snowball out of control if Randberg is not careful. Oh yeah, you got no one to chew through someone and with that ultimate healing from the Valkyrie that it offers in this very brawl style comp that the Beastie Boys has got. Oh, Francesco, he's going to go down in the beginning. They're not even going to need to use the Valkyrie at this stage. And so he's going to open up even more space for Beastie Boys. They may even be able to secure the second point here. And the worst part out is that 20 is getting nothing at this time. It's not getting any ult shards. So the Sombra looks even more um, sort of, you know, useless at this point. Then now he can come in and start put the damage down. But if they're relying on EMP, they're not going to find value. Dizzy drops straight off the bat. 
This has been such a pivotal part of them trying to do this. The hack doesn't come out. If they had got the Reaper at that stage, it could have been big. But still, Gutbuster going to go down. Condi for a second time in this one. Aquatic trying desperately with that duplicate. Oh, he's do something. Does something. Actually manages to pick out two. Um, even tries to get the mech kill. 20 gets a kill there. And so Rambo Fire Department holding on with dear life in overtime. One beat meter 24 has to try and stall this out. They bought themselves some time, but they've got to worry about the fact that Not No Not's there and Not No Not's quickly building up to a Death Blossom oh, and that could change down. things out. Vision's going to be able to try to get the remake and they step off the point. Wow, they got slapped off the point by the Monkey. They got yeah. slapped off the point. Yeah. No, no C9s here, thankfully. Um, just good play from Condi, comes back off an early death. Um, you know, it looked so good, and then Aquatic comes in the clutch. When I say Aquatic comes in on the clutch, you're expecting to see a Widowmaker popping <laughs> heads, a Tracer in the back line, wreaking havoc with a big pulse bomb, something along those lines. Not along those bomb. lines. But you don't expect a Diva bomb, and then you don't expect like a second-hand budget Diva bomb coming <laughs> from the Echo, although... It, it uh, does the same amount of damage, even though it costs less. Um, it's a little bit unfair as a deeper player. But anyways, let's go into it. Um, yeah, you know, Aquatic bails his team out there. That double kill takes a lot of the damage out. It allows D uh, Dizzy to get his mech back um, and then stand on the point and wait for his team to come, come reinforce. So very, very, very impressive stuff from... Uh, the Randwick Fire Department boys, but Beastie Boys will be extremely, extremely happy yeah. with that because they know exactly where they need to defend, right? Those first point doesn't matter. Uh, first team fight on streets doesn't matter. That last fight is all that matters. If you want to play it that way, you can hold your ulties, um, keep pulling your ulties out of Randburg until that point, and then win that last team fight without giving it up. So, uh, advantage Beastie Boys here, but Randburg have a lot more opportunities to build up alts and execute properly on this first point with their superior time back. Yeah, of course. You know, we talk about the fact that they, Aquatic came through clutch. It was a clutch to save them even more pressure on them. And so mm -hmm. Beastie Boys, they've effectively got, do you waste two team fights? You've got to win one out of your two team fights to really put a lot of pressure on here. Um, obviously, if they give away this first point, Francesco goes straight in and he's jumped straight into not, no, not. It's going to be difficult for him to do too much. Aquatic running through forwards now, even goes for that um, fade into the team. Does manage to pick out Mito and so a little bit more even on the trades. Not, no, not still doing work though. Takes out Gutbuster and as the healing goes down from Randburg Fire Department, it's going to be difficult for them to keep sustaining this push as they come back onto this point. Uh, 50 seconds has already gone off the time bank and Beastie Boy is going to be happy the fact that they haven't really given up too much on this first point. And how do you dive into this altruism? Oh. Reaper, Brigitte, McCree. This is like the worst case scenario if you're relying on dive here. Aquatic though, Reaper uh, is only going to put the pressure on now as Randburg try and find a way through this Beastie Boy's defense. <laughs> Oh, and there's not, no, not again. Gets the first pick onto the main tank. It's going to be Condi out of this fight, been going down so quickly in these fights, and now it's up for something. Can Aquatic come through clutch again? He does again find Mito, um, but now he finds Repose. This is actually getting big. Oh, Repose gets the pop of 20, gets that onto the back line. Aquatic going to go oh. down, and with. Beastie Boys having the point control. They've even got the Death Blossom if they decide to use yeah, it there. Yeah, it goes it into a great timing, takes out that. It's going to go down eventually into this. But, I mean, Francesco doesn't have an Anna to back him up. Ten seconds left on the point. Are you even going to be able to get there? And still, Beastie Boys has got both of their tank ultimates. they got both of their support ultimates. they got Mito with his ultimate. Yeah, this is Mito a huge is thing big. for Rambo to push into. And they're starting to lose people straight away. Aquatic yeah, not going to come maybe. back this time. It's going to be Beastie Boys. We're going to a game seven. It's not over yet, Altruism, calm it's down, Luke's still in the mix, but he's giving up on this one. <laughs> we are going to a Game 7 for the first time in what feels like a lifetime. In fact, for the first time, I feel like since we were at the VS Gaming Grand Finals, which went to a Game 8. So we're standing in good company here with these two teams and an exciting series, absolutely. But again... Look at the intelligence coming out of Beastie Boys here. What was the issue they were facing? Condi on the monkey, what do they do? They stand in the big ball on the top left and say, come at me, bro. Come into the Brigida, come into the McCree, come into the Reaper and see what you can do. And Randberg had nothing to say in the 1 minute 48 they had. Yes, do you guys want a more intense finals than this? Do you want a bigger roller coaster? We talked about the, the weird thing here is we've gone between dominating performances from Ramberg Fire Department. We said that, you know, this was a hybrid. This is the one that they flattened 
on Eichenwald. So this, mm -hmm. If we had a repeat of the first half of this matchup, it should have been Randberg Fire Department taking this all the way. And we then push both teams all the way through to the end. In fact, yeah. nearly taking over time for the second push. A minute versus a minute 48 on your second round. Beastie Boys come through. They clean it on their first fight. The, the, I don't even think it's worth analyzing the individual parts of this. I think the, the point of this, the whole narrative here is we've effectively narrowed this down to a single map best, between these two best teams. Best of one. And where do we go for one. this best of one? We go to Route 66. Oh. So uh, not a map we're very familiar with here. Um, we haven't Peter seen Torb. a ton of it. What? Me, what? Uh, I mean, what? Here's, here's the question though, Alterson. <laughs> if you stick on the defense, you stick uh, Randberg on their composition, right? You don't mess with no Echo, no Sombra, none of that nonsense, right? You give me your Ash, you give me Aquatic on whatever it is he wants to play, and then we can we can have a conversation here, right? <laughs> but we can we can we can at least 100% say Beastie Boys came to play today. Right? Oh, yeah. They they had their brains on. They have the skill to beat this team. It's can they execute better when it comes down to it, and can they beat um, Randberg's best comp? And Randberg hasn't played that comp. I, I thought it was just the Condi Winston. Uh, they proved me wrong. It was actually how the whole composition fits together, and that for me again is the key. Now I'm happy to see new winners always, and Beastie Boys haven't been a winner yet this year it is randberg who have the 1-0 victory in terms of the tournaments we've had so far so i'm excited to see how this plays out but i i i'm excited to see can beastie boys beat that composition can they look back at this match and say you threw everything you had at us and you couldn't beat us oh yeah you know at this stage we talked about it at the beginning it, it was randberg fire department the last time they lost was in a grand finals now they uh, actually could do it again as atk uh, yeah yeah you know that's that's big um when it comes to mito i don't actually want to see the talk because it's not needed no, mito's, no, no. mito's hanzo has been doing the work mito's uh being there even just with 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 something like that you don't want to see them trying yes he he came out with the the torb on um it was Temple uh, of Anubis. Yes, yes, yes. And it worked. It worked. So yeah. it is an option, but it's not the only option. It's not the be-all and end-all. It's being the tanks. Repose and Visions. Can you keep getting that synergy right? Can we see Condi and Dizzy coming out? Ooh, Condi? Uh, Condi on the on the Reinhardt? Okay. Know, and, and this is the, not a, the, there's no Sombra. You're gonna be happy about that. No Sombra yeah, 20 is just going. The thing is, I don't hate like I don't hate the Sombra. And I don't hate this composition. Um, also, the team names are wrong at the top, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I don't hate this composition, but I just feel like when you when you're looking so incredibly hard to beat on the other composition, uh, why would you switch it up? So again, I'm asking why I was switching it up, and now it's different because they 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 might have felt like um, their composition, the, the kernel, the core of that is the monkey, right? And so. Maybe I'm looking too much into the DPS and they feel like, damn, that's the best we had and it didn't work. So this is great stuff for Beastie Boys here as we have our first pause of the series, guys. It had to happen. We go all the way to game seven to get our first pause. No Kings Road today, but uh, the, the internet will deliver at least. What I like to see is Aquatic on this Reaper. Yes, Honestly, I'm Aquatic really has been coming up clutch in a lot of these plays. I like the Reaper more than the Echo simply because... Repost has been the key. We've seen yes. when Repost goes down early in a fight, Ramberg Fire Department win the fight. And yeah. so if Aquatic can just be there to shut down the diving in Winston and chew him th chew through him quickly, you've got 20 to back you up with a flashbang. So between the two of you, can you chew through? Can you keep your supports alive? Like Luke going onto a Moira, still offers good healing, especially good burst healing, and the escapability of getting out of the way of repose and visions diving onto you not no not mito gonna have to come through and be able to do damage equally as fast as ramberg fire department on the mirror comp and i'm going hamzo back on the brigida offers that opportunity for the brawl but they're gonna have to close the distance with i'm going hamzo onto something like the reinhardt and be there in the middle of a fight when you've got mm. so much damage i mean a reinhardt swinging hammers aquatic popping in shotguns 
I'm going Hamzo could actually get chewed through very quickly before they get the value out of that. Yeah. That is fire. Absolutely. And I think uh, Hamzo here, and this was probably expecting what we expected to see, right? The dive composition coming out of Randberg. And then the, the, um, the composition is exactly what worked for them so well in that last Numbani defense with the Reaper, McCree, um, uh, what is that here for? Brigitte. But um, no, no Winston this time. So I wonder if we want to see him switch on to the Mercy then when he gets an opportunity and back Mito up on that McCree and allow him to, to build up the damage. Um, yeah. I'm I'm going I'm ex I'm so excited to see how this plays out. Altos, we finally have some some games, man. Some games, some grand finals that are going the distance. We spent a year last year, no disrespect to either team, but watching ATK poo on on two CP in grand finals and then poo on Beastie Boys in grand finals. And I'm so tired of four O's. I'm so pleased we get to see a seven at least game series. Um, although you can't draw this map mode, so it will be a seven game series. Um, and finally see some action at the tippy top of the South African Overwatch scene. And the most exciting thing, Altruism, is that it doesn't stop here. We know OG can take two maps in a best of five off of Randberg Fire Department. We know Enigma can take one map off at least off of Beastie Boys in a best of five. So from and we know that PC Boys can be beaten by Team Gaming. So <laughs> there's there's action up and down the top five here, and it's so exciting to see. Oh man, I, and I think the fact that Beastie Boys has done, it, whether they win or lose this, the fact that Beastie Boys has done as well as they can just reflects how good the rest of the top five actually are. You know, it really is exciting to see that the top level of Overwatch in South Africa has gotten to this point where it's hotly contested all the way down. Everyone is in this and um, we're obviously going to just reset this map quickly, yeah. um, get everyone back into position. Uh, it could be an opportunity for some swap ups. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to really re want to rethink any of this. Um, maybe no, they no never got to see the, the heroes, so it shouldn't shouldn't be any reason to swap here. I mean, unless um, they were stream sniping, but uh, if you guys are doing that, I, true, I hope that that's not the point um, of this. In fact, we do see everyone pretty much okay. going exactly back onto what they were. So the, 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 the standard is still going to be there. They're going to be coming out into this, and we're going to Game 7. Winner take all here. Obviously, both teams are going to be going home with money, but um, thanks again to PC International. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the difference in money at this stage, it's a thousand rand split between six players. It's an extra 200 rand per person and not even. Uh, I think the big thing now is who's going to come out with the title of the reigning champions in yes. South Africa. That that is the key. Who's going to go into the next season of whatever with that uh, gold medal under their belts? You know the metaphorical gold medal. If you squint your eyes, there you can see the battle happening in the distance. There we go. There it is. On the mic, you can to get aggressive, but he's going to be under pressure here from Aquatic, and that is the key. How much can Repost do? How much can Condi do? Comes down to this uh, these main tanks on Game Seven. All right, and we see Aquatic is going to be pushing forward. Still, it's going to be 20 doing some work as well for the oh, side no. of Ramberg Fire Department. In fact, the whole of Ramberg Fire Department clears through the side of Beastie Boys, and Beastie Boys may have to rethink this considering how quickly they just fell in that first fight. It's okay. This is a kind of thing that can, can snowball. They, they chose to play super aggressively on the defense. They've got plenty of time now to come in. The point is only rounding that first bend now. So not too much of a concern, but they have fed a ton of ult charge. 67% on three heroes, literally. Luke on with the coalescence. So you suppose you need to be careful here not to let that tempo slip up too much. I do like the quick swap from I'm going Humzo. Realizes cannot afford to be in the center of these team fights. And uh, still a big amount of damage being taken by Ramberg Fire Department. They've even managed to demech uh, Dizzy, who needs to be in that. Just shows, shows such value there. And um, a great uh, recontest from Beastie Boys under Big Earls here. The high noon comes out from the high ground here. Mito looking oh, for something. Nice in fact, timing. takes out Aquatic. That's going to be huge. Aquatic did find. The kill on repose in the beginning of this, but Mito with these consistent flanks, man, this guy's in every angle. If you can't see him now, like you said earlier, he's in your back line and being able to do some work so far. It is going to be Visions getting out the first um, self destruct, gets pinned straight away. Gonna have to try fly out. No, you're pinned. You got a reaper and oh, sorry, a run out on top of you. And no, 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 tries optimistically with that, doesn't manage to get anything out of it just yet. 
even survives through the high noon and now it's going to be still dizzy going to be using that self-destruct always going to be able to get value out of it and Ramberg fire department clean up your first step yeah it's one yeah. more step towards victory yeah, and you can see the issue here is Repost isn't able to exert himself on proceedings yeah. here. Only now coming up to his ulti and Visions is going to switch up and try and take the pressure off a little bit. If uh, the Reaper is focusing on the ball, Monkey gets a lot more space to yeah. play with. So I like this decision here from Visions and Beastie Boys. And that's going to give v uh, Mito and Co. a lot more space to work with. But so far, the Reaper battle is being won by Aquatic, shutting down the opposing Reaper. And so part of the compositions, all oh, needs to be careful and back out here. But Granberg are in control at least this far. Yeah, I like Beastie Boys also. The fact that you've now got two very mobile tanks in that front line mean that you can cycle them a little bit more effectively. Yeah. And we do see it now. The pile driver goes into the back line, is going to be countered out by the coalition straight away. Mito in the back line has got that high noon just to break the shield. And it does do it so far. It is going to be um, Condi going to go down. And that opens up the opportunity. Aquatic going to fall straight afterwards. Vision going to go out, Ooh. but he's going to go down. Nice recontest, though, from Ramberg Fire Department. They haven't gone too far. Beastie Boys has managed to take control of this so far, um, but still, uh, 20 leading the charge to come forward. He's got an ultimate of his own for this next fight, and it's going to have to be Beastie Boys running. They're still holding the high ground. Repost going to be coming through now, realizing he's got a bit of space without Aquatic in the back line. Aquatic drops in with that Death Blossom, does take out. I'm going Hamzo, and followed up by 20's ultimate as well, taking out means that Beastie Boys are going to start yeah, losing too shot. many kills, and Randburg Fire Department carry on with their momentum. I have to say, Aquatic just looks a little bit more comfortable on the Reaper. Yeah. Uh, when they're dueling, he's getting more damage down. When we're not looking at them, he's popping off in the kill feed. He's holding his ulti just a little bit faster, and I think that's making a big difference here because these Reapers are so critical to dealing with these main tanks. Speaking of tanks coming in now, Condi with the stand there. Drop down. That was close. Connie nearly paid for that with his life. Now Vision's not the greatest rollout so far, and like Luke, going to keep the team alive, going to be able to put in damage at the same time. Visions does manage to pick up the, oh, the kill Condi, on Dizzy, um, but Ooh. again, not no, not going to actually open this up. Vision's going to follow through with it. The two of them working nicely together. Again, not no, not not coming out on top of that Reaper jewel means that Aquatic able to heal back up. Um, and it is going to be Beastie Boys. The stun is nice, but it's not really someone who can really contest this payload for too long. He had to get that kill there, not able to do it. And Randberg Fire Department, find your second point. Almost, uh, there's still a mild recontest here. Uh, it is going to be the two supports with that immortality feel, but that's going to just buy a second or two. Yeah, you feel like Beastie Boys has to stem the bleeding here a little bit. They're yeah. struggling to slow down Randberg Fire Department's uh, momentum. They seem to have found the sixth gear here have the fire department and they're making it difficult for Beastie Boys to find the angle, find the space and this man right here, Condi, is doing an incredible job of putting the screws to the Beastie Boys front, back, side, whatever line you want to talk about. He's been on it and he's been taking down players. The boss was to right, take it down, now the shadow comes through. Oh, that shadow was big to start it off. They just had such a good position on that high ground. Visions has swapped now onto that Zarya, but Zarya is not going to do a lot on their own and still Beastie Boys unable to stop this hemorrhage of kills and not able able to recontest aquatic going onto the high ground looking for such a pivotal position oh. to drop this death blossom i don't know if anyone spotted them out in fact is going to just have to come back to the team and Ramberg fire department arguably one fight away from taking this and pushing it all the way with a pretty solid time back again aquatic going onto the high ground the beat comes in from oh, Ramberg no. fire department staying there the stun is out there and the kills are still coming in though beastie boys unable to stop at all from dying means that Randberg Fire Department walk to claim it at the end here. Two minutes on the time bank. That was a quick push and through very good consistent team fights. So when I when I play Rocket League with my friends, uh, we, we have what we like to call a little brother moment where it looks like um, your opponents have, have said, okay, I'm finished playing now and you let your little brother play. <laughs> and that's, that's what it looks like uh, is happening here. Yeah. No disrespect to the Beastie Boys, but I almost feel like for Randberg, the little brothers have been playing since map two. And now the big brothers are back in the mix here because they looked absolutely unstoppable. That was a dominant performance. Sure, they stemmed the bleeding just a tiny bit on that second point for Beastie Boys. But other than that, Randberg looked in total control. You almost get the sense that they were like, okay, guys, want to win now? Yes, guys want to win. Let's win. Yeah, let's just win. And that's what happened. They were just executing perfectly, uh, carrying the momentum beautifully, executing the ultimates perfectly, and just winning uh, the duels in every role. And 
I, this this is a this is now where the Beastie Boys have to come alive. You know, Map Seven of a Seven Map series. Can you turn the momentum back in your favor? Do they have the resilience to push back Randburg to push all the way to the end and even things out here? Because they're going to have to do it pretty confidently as well. You know, two minutes is yes. a big time bank. You know, you can't even just think we got to get to the end. we got to get to the end soon. And they've changed it up. Mito going to go out to the Torbjorn on attack now instead of defense. Mm. Not, no, not swapping off that onto now the uh, Ash. Just maybe them wanting to keep a little bit more space between themselves and Rainbow Fire Department. Realizing that they cannot deal with that close range, especially at the pace and the tempo that Rainbow Fire Department brought out in that first round. Mito running all the way to the background. Of course, we got the flanking Torb. Um, this is Pub Styles and actually has done a good job to get into a very dangerous position. Has pinched oh. the side of Rainbow Fire Department, but doesn't even matter when your team is falling like this. Now you just got a Torbio and stuck alone. And this is where this composition, compared to what uh, Beastie Boys were running when they tried to do this, this composition excels so, so much more because you can just get aggressive. Gutbuster gives them the speed boost and Condi swings his hammer and chops a few heads off. So, oh my god, Vision's okay, no, he's fine. Comes back in here onto the back line and Landberg, I mean, they're looking completely in control. This is a championship performance if they do end up winning. Nice play from Visions though to just offset everyone from that train cart. Is going to have to try and make something work though. Given some space to Not No Not, but Not No Not is not getting the kills, at least not nearly as fast as the side of Rambo Fire Department, even though the res comes back up onto Riposte. And, um, is this now a time to rethink this Winston from Riposte? It's just not working into Aquatic. Uh, you need to rethink everything then, right? Because then you need to give support, you need to pop the Lucio on. And I think a problem for this roster is that they don't have a Rooster player and Squishy goes down again when Wallace is not in. So it's oh, looking tough for them right now. Just carry on talking, don't worry. We don't. I don't need to cast these team fights. It's <laughs> going so quickly at this stage. I'm going to do some play-by-play, play, Alter. They, they, just, they <laughs> just ran at them and cleaned them. And, like, they didn't even stop holding W. Uh, and uh, this man right here, uncontested on the high ground, just able to click Squishy's head as he comes out of spawn. Former teammate, no love lost there, I'm sure. But it is, it's looking tough, man. Now, Francesco with the ultimate 20 with the high lead outs for pretty much every player on Randberg, almost up and running. How do you fight back? Maybe this is the key. Molten Core is a good place to start. We have seen Mito get value out of those things before, and uh, it still hasn't picked up anyone. Is more making Rambo Fire Department scatter oh, a little bit. Okay. You just scatter and to get yourself into a better position and then come through with an Earth Shatter like that. Vision's trying something now going on to instead the the um, Zarya. But it's it's still it's still not finding anything. It feels hopeless, doesn't it? Altruism for the Beastie Boys here. You kind I don't of want to say like they, they don't know how they want to solve this problem. But finally, some picks come out. Once again, this man right here, Post pulls the attention with the Palmer Rage, gets the pick off, going to follow up onto the Reaper. I'm not going to get that pick. But that is the door opened. Our question is can they force their way through it? Yeah, you know, you've still got probably another fight here, and with these ultimates coming back on from Ramberg Fire Department, they could arguably still contest this out here in the open on this first point. And with a minute left on the side here, Dizzy, are we just are we just going to hope for Dizzy to get another three k with this um, bomb? The self destruct goes instead, shuts down any support from Ooh, not, not, not being able to get it. Uh, we do see the transcendence trying to come out, and the transcendence runs out before Quadic can get in there. Quadic does go down, only manages to pick up a and single Mito? one. Mito back onto this McCree. McCree has done so much work here. Uh, Dizzy, now's a good time to pull out a big what? bomb, and you do it. How do you do it every time? What? How do you do that? They, they knew it was coming. That was a remake to be like, uh, I just need my mech back. I'm just going to throw this out quickly. And he got two kills. They could have won that team fight out. Their positioning was superior, but the heroes they had alive and the spawn advantage is theirs. That is disastrous for the Beastie Boys. They're coming back with some ulties. This is the last chance to lose for the boys in blue. It really is. They throw the bop out at the beginning of this fight to try something. We do see Francesco is uh, whipping a... a, a uh, Earth Shatter there and picked up by the Graviton oh, Surge. You have some chance. Now it's 20's chance though to come through and with the uh, Beastie Boys having to just try and stay on this pay payload, it means that they're going to get chewed apart one by another. This was the Grand Finals that went to Game 7 and yet this looked more decisive than any of the matches in this <laughs> entire series so far.
<laughs> what a peculiar ending, altruism. Not to suck the energy out of this series, which has been awesome pretty much up until the end of game six. But this was uh, Randberg turning up the heat, uh, fire yeah. department, bringing the flames and just dominating the Beastie Boys in this last map. Looks completely untouchable. If you just joined us before this last map, I promise you it was a close series, okay? Both teams looked like they could have taken it by the time we got to the beginning of Game 7, but Randberg, I mean, the taste they've just left in our mouth is, is one of utter domination. Weirdly enough, I'm okay with that. No. It, yes, it, it wasn't the, the nail-biting finish that we expected. Congratulations. Of course, we have to say it. Randberg Fire Department are your winners, guys. Congratulations. I don't think anyone was concerned about that. What, wait, what happened in that last match? Randberg won. Mm -hmm. That's not to be concerned. But yeah. the fact that Randberg was able to step it up, because it's not even like Beastie Boys went down. I didn't feel like that no, at no. all. It's just they didn't have an opportunity. They were getting flattened in a second in those last team fights. And so Randberg Fire Department came through and wanted to take it all the way. And they were like, guys, you wanted a show? You wanted to see the Reinhardt work? You, you wanted to push for the Winston? No, 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 no. This is how we do it. Even picking up player of the game at the end there. Huge plays coming out from Randberg Fire Department showing that on their best days, bring anything you want, bring any team you want. We are going to bring such powerful plays and take this picture. They walk away as your champions of the Raving Mad Gamers last men standing tournament. Congratulations to them. Absolutely 100% deserved, I think. The cream of the crop for South African Overwatch this year. The target is on their back. Everybody wants to beat them. Everyone wants to take the fight to them. OG have come close in the semifinals. Beastie Boys closer even in the grand finals, but none have managed to take down Randberg Fire Department. So congrats to uh, Condi and the crew for taking that one. A really impressive performance. But as I mentioned at the top of that map, the hype is there this season. The games are there. The teams are there. And I'm excited to see how how they are able to perform and how everything, uh, kind of how the flux plays out over the course of the next couple of months. If nothing else, I think this gave Ramberg Fire Department something to consider for the future. You talked about the fact that these guys don't always sit and practice all the hours and they go, mm. maybe if there's a big tournament with a big prize pool that we really actually do want to win, Let's let's get together for a couple of weeks beforehand yeah, yeah, and get yeah. some strategies going together. They did obviously show some interesting strats where they pulled out something like a Sombra that they were trying to favor. They tried Aquatic on an Echo, arguably a great hero in the pro scene right now, showing a lot of favor there. Very valuable to have in your team roster. If you can get people like that, the Sombra coming out, why, why did our Reinhardt not work on the maps that it didn't? That, that sort of mentality that they can at least take out from this is going to give them room to grow as a team and just focus on it a little bit um, going forwards. Guys, I cannot believe that it's taken us until 1 a.m. really <laughs> to get to the final point here, but I'm sure that you would have been in agreement this was worth it. If you guys are watching the VOD and you got to this point, you I'm sure you are sitting here at any time going, that was well worth the two or three hours that I put into this because from my side, I don't know about you, son, but from my side, that was great from start to finish. Absolutely. I think uh, just just watching the ebb and flow of the series, trying to get a sense of of what was happening. You know, why, why was one team dominant on one map, the other on another? How the compositions were playing out, the clash of play styles, you know, everything was extremely exciting to watch and, you, it's it's difficult to ask for a better grand finals than a seven map series, no matter how any of the maps look. You know. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm I'm interested to see if what changed in, in Randberg Fire Department's mentality at the end there, if they really did just pull it all together and go right. We have one more chance. We cannot afford to. If maybe Beastie Boys had taken that from the first control point and two or three of the other maps, would this have happened earlier? It's interesting to know. We'll have to wait until our next tournament, guys, to find that out, though. It has been such a pleasure bringing you these tournaments. Do we have a player of the match of the series? Because I, I, I don't know about you, but Dizzy and those bombs is certainly at least a contender. 
Contender, absolutely. But think about what we spent the whole match talking about after the first couple of maps. Main tanks. That's what we were focused on. How are the main tanks able to marshal the team fights, take control of the tempo, and bring their teams to a victory? And the team that came out with a W at the main tank who dominated that last map. So that, for me, has got to be Condi. I think he was key to them winning. I think I've given Condi player of the match for this team more times than I haven't uh, when we've seen this team play. And it was a standout performance from him today. Uh, him today. Any question marks you have about his ability to play main tank, of course, formerly a DPS player um, for uh, uh, DC. He spent a brief second on Beastie Boys last year. I believe he played the last Beastie Boys map in the grand finals, hilariously enough, where they got pooed on by ATK, as I said before. But this time, he comes out on top, and, and for me, he's the MVP as well. Yeah. And if you guys ever believe that you can't play Ryan Shadows into a double shield meta, Exhibit A, mm -hmm. this is how you do it, if you're interested. You run straight at them, run past the shields, and then flatten them. The number of Shadows that came out that turned that around. Obviously, there's, there's so many players who made amazing plays here. Oh, Stuff absolutely. like Mito on both the McCree and the, um, the Torbjorn the Hunter, there yeah. came out with great plays. You've got... All, all the plays, oh man, just the, the number of plays that we saw yeah. coming out there. We saw quite a clutching it out there on Mbani while trying to at least certainly stalling out that fight with the mm -hmm. the, the duplications. We saw Not No Not coming through with their own plays. Um, the sports with a very pivotal uh, immortality field, healing. Um, I'm going Hamza, maybe not Brigida on Icon Vault attack. Mm -hmm. next time but mm -hmm. other than that that's not on him man that's, that's on the not person on who made the call you that's know? not on him everyone played their heart out tonight yeah. and i think it was fantastic i really enjoyed that the entire series start to finish um congratulations to both teams i'm i think you both deserve your hard hard earned prize money but the yeah. bigger prize pool goes to Ramberg Fire Department. It's been fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations to everyone, and thank you. We will see you in the next tournament. Make sure to follow, of course, all the social medias, the ZA Overwatch Twitter, uh, myself at Ultraism and at Sun Phoenix. Big shout out to Scars for bringing you all the great action and catching so many of those great moments. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of highlight clips from this, but mm, it's, sure. it, it's time to go to sleep for us. So I hope you enjoyed it. Sleep, I do want to just say Pride Cup, guys, sign up if you want to get involved in that. Uh, great uh, effort from the Kauza team put on the Community Cup here as we did last year. Kind of just sign up as, as a single or a duo and put you into teams. And it's a lot of fun weekend tournaments you can get involved in for a good call. So, guys, please head over to Asset Watch for more information on that. If you want to sign up. And if you want to get involved in the casting, I think Ultras and I, you and I have done a pretty good job advertising uh, casting and how fun it can be. So, if you want to get involved in that, guys, please don't hesitate to head over to at ZA Overwatch for more information and then also to the ZA Overwatch Discord, which has been popping up in the chat. Oh no, this is now chat, actually. I don't know, but you you can figure out where to find us. It's not that hard to get a hold of. Um, if you want to get involved in, in Pride Cup, either as a player or as a caster. It really is fun, guys. Like, especially when you get matches like this. It mm -hmm. just, it's it's even more fun than playing, in my opinion, because you don't have the pressure of messing up or, or dropping oh, an ultimate yeah. at the wrong time. <clears throat> it's much better to stand in the back and go, wow, that half the team got taken up by yeah. a demon self destruct. Glad it wasn't me. So, yeah, get being in that, there, guys. done that. No, thank you. <laughs> We'd love to have you on board. And of course, you get paired up with an advanced caster for something like that. And so, mm -hmm. we'll show you the ropes and hopefully, we will get you involved in the scene. So, for the end of this tournament, congratulations to Ramberg Fire Department. Congratulations to Beastie Boys. So close, so close. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next tournament. We'll see you then, guys.